You want to be a Kappa so bad. Is that Kappa what y'all thing? did? Yo's? Not in that manner, but it's cool. Do it. Let me see. How they freaking? Yeah. I'm cool. Let me see. I'm all right. Come on, Parks, put a little 808 behind him. He's yeah. a little Kappa yo. <laughs> <laughs> 808 little, behind that got, might be all right, though. Got a little Kappa yo for us? Nah, that's cool, man. <laughs> Tell the people what you did in February. <laughs> I, uh, Tell them what you I did. I was alive, thank God. Tell them what you did. Praise be. Tell them what you just did 10 minutes earlier in February. Okay, I mean, I could tell my, my true story, or you guys can tell the funnier side that you guys interpreted. Always the funnier side. Yeah, sure. it's always rolling. And the you could tell the funnier version. You don't have to tell your truth. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's true, too. That, yeah, wonder, that what, is a fact. What's he talking okay, about? I take that back. Maul said he needs to watch Dave. And we've talked about the show Dave plenty of times. Mm. And I said, oh, is it back for season two? And then he said, no, Dave Chappelle is back. Mm. I refer to Chappelle's show as Chappelle's show. I don't refer to it as Dave's show. <laughs> the song does go Chappelle. Which, show. which then I Chappelle was met show. with, how dare you say Dave Chappelle is Little Dicky in Black History Month? <laughs> <laughs> which is also fair. The nerve of you. <laughs> it's only one Dave. Honestly. Honestly. Some nerve. <clears throat> is this working? This Got is, some white soul for us today? Uh, some some little dicky. I don't, but it happened to me last night. The white the white soul hit you. It happened. That feeling. That feeling that as a music lover, there's no feeling like it. It's like the, your first time getting high. It's that feeling you search for when a new song or a song you've never heard does it for you. Hits your chords. Okay. So is this. How often do you guys get that feeling in the year? Uh, I had it with Roll Some Mo, Lucky Day, uh, CPR, Summer, her first record. For me, it normally comes at the discovery of an artist for me. Like when Summer first dropped, the artist that made CPR, I, I went to try to find anything that she had put her vo- voice on Yeah, immediately sure. after. I tried to get people on the phone that knew her. I, sure. didn't, didn't we think we thought Summer Walker was Summer Walker? We thought yeah. it was dramas. We thought it was Summer Walker. <laughs> yeah, like Summer I Summer Walker. I was like, wait, is this? <laughs> I'm like, fair. If Summer Walker is doing this, <laughs> but it was new Summer Walker, and CPR was one of those songs that did that. So it happened to me last night on the fucking. You know, I'm playing. You know, I talked about this. When you play a song, and then when that song goes off, the algorithms just start playing songs for you. Mm-hmm. So that's what happened. The algorithm started just playing jams. <laughs> it's like, wait. It doesn't happen to me that often. Are we, so often. Are we starting with slippers? I'd say a couple, couple so hours. So I'm starting with a jam because who is this girl, Tempest? I feel like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know Tempest. You do, because I know her too, but I maybe only had a joint from her. Like I didn't, We played some Tempest on this pod before. We have, but... Different not now. This one? Different not, not now. This joint. <laughs> different now. It's different. Different now that I've heard. I've heard two songs from this person. I'm saying this person not to be funny because these new R and B people they come out like Division was a group who knew. Like <laughs> these R and B people get crazy. Uh, six Black was Slack Black Slack Slack. I don't slack know. Black. Six, slack he Black. Was six Slack Black. Six Slacks. Yeah, he was Black Slacks for a little bit. Mm-hmm. So now I'm starting with this. Oh my God. Who is this woman? Where's the air horn? Oh, that's the bootleg one. You got some shit there. Where's Tempest? Where's Tempest? Tempest. 
<laughs> yo, yo, yo. That's nice. She got a little scissor yeah, cadence. Just, yeah. Just, that, scissors, melody, that melody was my and, I don't mean, and I don't mean that in a bad way at all. Scissor's another one. When I heard, uh, I think that was Babylon was the song for Scissor for me. Yeah. I needed to hear more from... Around that era. <clears throat> Fam, what the fuck is this girl saying? Nah, she's talking that shit. Oh. Hey. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Where's the error where the rappers would just put the hot verse on the hot song before it got to Billboard? Sans Rick Ross. <laughs> Rick Ross was the only one that kept doing it. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Hope y'all feeling good out there. We're at a pod today. I'm here to talk about everything and nothing at the same time. Wait a minute! Yeah, this is hard. I have no idea what this girl is doing. So listen. So I hear this song in the middle of the night. And I immediately go to search this girl's name. Let me stop this because I hate when these R&B people do that. What? Be awesome. Her name is a fucking rock band's name too. Uh, and a metal band. And a fucking K-Rock. That's why uh, Tempest, that's Tempest, how we got Six Lack. Tempest is the name of mad rock shit. So yeah, if this is... she has Tatiana I, Bello next to it. It's Tempest Tatiana Bello. Uh, well, oh, well, God damn it. Maybe I should search that on fucking uh, yeah. iTunes. She should have put a letter upside down or something. Listen, man, a lot of names were taken. Gotta get creative. Anyway, listen, my point is not that that song is just so great by itself, but the person that can do that, right? That mm -hmm. song and do this, I want to hear more from. I'm just going to give him a little dose of this and then we can start our pod, but I just thought it's been a while since we spoke about new artists, new music. Oh, Yeah, me too. Yeah, no, yeah. But it this led me. But the person that can make this song like this and that song like this. Uh, Mac is on on that album, right? On what? On her. On I his... couldn't find an album. <laughs> <laughs> too many Mac, Mac did something. What like album? Could be lying. If could there's be an album, tell me so I can buy it right now. Cause I bought some some uh, metal gear. <laughs> I bought some Yo I hit play at 4am Thinking I was smooth sailing That nigga said We will come to get you And you will die I'm like Yo That sounds hard I'm she, like, took, hey, yo. She, she took a left I said <laughs> Want to wake up Is this the, the same yeah, I was about to say Is this the same artist That's a real artist like, Wow Joe's like, Joe's man. like she's good <laughs> Oh this girl got it <laughs> Hold up. That's that seven Chris Brown and A$AP Ferg record that just came out. Lose your body. No, 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 well, it's not it's, enough it's music, never, or it's, it's not, not enough, enough to make no, great music, music. is the music is not enough for, oh, okay. for the fans to start giving people respect. Oh, you no, know no, that. No, no, we yeah. know that. Yeah, that yeah. I know. We know that, right? Yeah. I think Ferg knows that too. Uh, microphone check. One, two. What is this? The JBP boys bike to business. What is this? Four seventeen. I'm just freestyling right now, and I'm still close. Episode 416 <laughs> of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. And before we get into that, we are powered by, controlled by, not controlled by. Not controlled, empowered by. <laughs> by the greatest app of all time, Cash App. Thank you for everything. Yes, don't run off on the plug. Cash App the plug. Mm. Mm. Come, on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Who else, E? Huh, E? Who else? <laughs> Anyway, Joe, go ahead. Good brother Rory is here. Maul is here. Parks is here. E-Rab is here. Uh, <laughs> who did that? Savon is here. Um, Alex is here. Corey is here. Gentlemen, how are you doing? I'm good. I got, I got a little got a little cocky on my way here today. Oh, just on the way here. Yeah. <laughs> got a little cocky. I've, I've been finding spots right out front. For those that don't know, we're in a new spot. Surprise. So we used to have a parking lot at Park's old spot. I could come right on time, park right away, walk right through the back door, and I'm in Park's living room. A little different now. And it's snow everywhere. Parking spots are gone. Yeah. I've been getting right out front 
So I was like, ah, I'll come whenever. <laughs> I got cocky. And I drove around the block for a good hour. You could and have I, went back and, to the and I think, can we just make fire hydrants Bluetooth at this point? Like, there's got to be a <laughs> new way to do time, this. Yeah. They're taking away way too many great parking spots. Yeah. Do something with that. Travel around with a tank. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Like, I'm with you why is all technology changing but fire hydrants? Yeah. You, you took away mad parking spots with city bikes. Nah, and the, and the, now I got to deal with the fire hydrants, huts, too? The restaurant huts are fucking oh, yeah. destroying right. things. Yeah, y'all want to eat out in the fucking street. Now I can't even park. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, it, it was no, I'm with, with you. Baisley. I'm you know how hard it is to parallel park with Baisley on my lap? <laughs> hey, Screaming at, a fucking head off. Yeah, look at white problems during Black History <laughs> Month. <laughs> There's no parking. <laughs> That's what I, you white people got to deal with. I want, him uh, to let it, I want him to let it breathe I am for a few more. seconds so we can hear. <laughs> I get it. I hear it in your voice. I am Parks oppressed. I, I hear it in your voice. I hear it. I Do you know what that's like? Right. <laughs> <laughs> to not get what you want? <laughs> no, I have no because idea. Because of social constructs? I have no, <laughs> Do you have any idea what that's like? I have no idea what that's like. Not a, not a clue. So sit down and shut up. You're right. My bad. You're right. You're absolutely right. Can I hear more about Maul being upset about alternate side of the street parking? Uh, that, that's a thing. What'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> Come on. You ain't listen to 880 to find out if it was happening? Can I hear more about you and Parks being mad about alternate side of the street parking? Why, I, have why, 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 I have a car. Why are y'all mad? I have a car. <laughs> <laughs> he got a whip, yeah. Okay. Why y'all, <laughs> why y'all direct things to me with such spice? Because, By the way, because you was, directed something but, to us hey, with spice. That was the yeah. end of the spice. No, no, spice. No, 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 spice. You don't no, get the call to answer the spice, nigga. Parks said, I have a car. That answers it. You don't have to long gaze me down. But what if he want to give you spice after that? You don't get to shut the spice off. Don't whip your hair back and forth at me. Don't whip your hair at me again. I just think it's funny. Spice. Does that affect your Uber more? Not at all. That's why Uber. What the Hop out. Just go upstairs. Do what you gotta Not do. Real shit. Uber you know in the saying? mattress. Yeah, nigga. There you go. <laughs> Uber in the mattress. Uber in the mattress. <laughs> Responsibility. Man. There you go. I ain't gotta get up to move nothing. I feel you though. Well, yeah, anyways. Uber. If my girl wasn't from Jersey and like needed to have a car, I would be okay with not having a car still. See? Yeah. There you go. One of the worst neighborhoods to have one too. Facts. Shout out to our first and last time listeners. <laughs> Shout out to the women that are listening. Shout out to the people listening from work. Shout out to all of you. Shout out to the people going through a divorce right now. Boy, it's tough. Sure. I'm sure, bar- it's always tough. Nah, my barber. I never care until it affects me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like there's probably been a lot I n- of... Just- I never care about what is happening in your life until it alters mine some way. My barber was like, yo, man, next Friday, can't. What, oh, what impression was that? <laughs> yeah, where is he from? What region is he from? I don't know. Let's highlight it. <laughs> <laughs> what region is he from? Now I get mad at my barber for going on vacation for a few days. Yo, I got to go see my kids in Florida. I haven't seen them in six years. So you got the fucking nerve? Well, that's what I said. <laughs> to go see your family? Yeah, you have to cut my horrible hairline. I say, yo, man, what's going on next Friday? <laughs> he got into it. Remember that thing I was telling you? Yeah, it's time <laughs> when they say remember that thing I was telling you about a year ago <laughs> it's happening now man it's going down it's splitting time. everything shit that I had before she got there man I just yeah. next week so I got into my lawyer of the fees oh it's getting crazy and I was like wait so you can't do next Friday no no <laughs> yeah she's getting half the razors you gotta go re-up <laughs> so when can you do it it's one of Oh, but at least he y'all gives you that. Y'all don't hear how inconsiderate that is. How is that inconsiderate? But he's telling you before he leaves, though, right? I think it's spilling the beans. I feel like, like there's going to be a lot of divorces what? in the next uh, couple months or year. I'm just shocked. Why? I'm just shocked. Because people have been he's... locked in their house with their significant other yeah, nonstop. Can... For... Not- noticing them. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, that's how you chew? That's, that's yeah. the right. worst. <laughs> that is the worst. That's that how you little shit. <laughs> that's how you chew. That's how you wash this time. up your shoes. Tom's going to go in that room. I can't do it anymore. Yo, y'all are stupid, man. Just wash the glass after you use it. It's mad simple. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm shocked your barber... I never thought uh, about it like that, though, yeah. does, Doesn't know... People are stressed out. ...everything mm-hmm. about a divorce. I feel like every barber's an expert in everything. I'm shocked he didn't have a law degree. <laughs> every barber I know is, is a legal defense. He's a doctor. Mm. He can coach basketball, boxing. <laughs> He's an expert in everything. Yeah. I've never seen a barber face anything they couldn't handle outside of the barbershop. <laughs> Outside of that, well, uh, you guys sit there and talk to mad different right. people, so I, well, I, I see how that happens. Since you mentioned it, let me just get this off my chest since we don't have much else to really talk about. Whoever works, uh, anybody that works with high school kids doing athletics, I don't want to hear about it during my day. <laughs> That's a barber. 
Any of them. The gym teacher, you know, like this one nigga stopped me, like, hey man, you gotta come by seat number 12. He, <laughs> he just made. <laughs> He just, hey, he's 13 for the state, and this last game, only, I don't care. Yo, yo, anytime. Yo, you know what has to happen for me to care? Ish made me care about his man. He was like, yo, my cousin just dropped 200 points in the game last week. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to come That's check him out. I want to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was CYO, though. Where is he? <laughs> nah, it started naming some shit. He was Virginia number one, Georgia Tech. It was like, oh, yeah. he went to Georgia Tech for high school? Wow. <laughs> this, high school. This, this kid can ball. No, no bro. Brooklyn Tech. Yeah. Oh, man. Zion who? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I hate those people. But anyway. Uh, hey. Uh, yeah. Get, get. <laughs> Basley is a terrorist. It's something about this new crib. Why does she keep coming? <laughs> Don't you have a dog? Hey, Can we what? lock her outside? Rule COVID something? Listen, if you, any guys, rule? if you guys want to start recording at fucking noon and end at 10 p.m., I have to bring Basley. I hate niggas like this, too. Not niggas. I'm done saying that. I hate men like this. Man. I want to, yeah, I want to, yeah, I don't want to call <laughs> you a man. I hate, I hate guys like, like this. the guys that are like, uh, like, um, my dog's been in the house alone too much, <laughs> <laughs> stressed out. <laughs> oh, my dog's been locked in there for a whole seven hours in the apartment alone. <laughs> yeah. I hate people that care about animals. <laughs> the, the, the apartment I pay for that's good for me alone. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. dog has been there alone for hours. Gotta rescue him. Separation Shut anxiety. Shut the fuck up. First of all, she identifies as a woman. I hate these people, man. <laughs> I hate them. Let's get that clear. I hate them. Lock the him dog, in a cage. The dog can be home alone. <laughs> Dog be fine. Actually, Dog's man, fine. I think they love it's, him. When it's they you. Yeah. Just say you miss him. <laughs> nah. Basically gets mad depressed. I have the fucking cameras. All she does is lay by the door like she's dead and sleeps the entire time. Yeah, that's all my And it makes does. me feel bad. Yeah. That's all I but do when I'm home alone. Up. <laughs> that's what I do when I'm home alone. Yeah, I lay by the door like I'm dead. <laughs> Rory, that's, okay. that's the dog's life. Yes. <laughs> well, Basley is not your soulmate. <laughs> that's your soulmate right there? Hell yeah. I respect that. I'm sure we have something to get to. Um, now let's talk about dog soulmates. <laughs> and before everyone reads too much into that, it was just a joke. <laughs> like, you gotta, Jesus no, Christ, no, no, you, you got to say one that. joke sentence. You got to say that like now. You have to say that. 10 paragraph essay about it. Yeah. Uh, so where would you gentlemen like to start? Rihanna looks great. She really does. I wasn't a start. I was just wanted to say. Did you, yeah. did you, did you wash your hands? <laughs> Absolutely. You nasty man. You Just complimenting. Keep, you, you wanted to keep the stink on him? <laughs> Talking about her inner spirit. Well, stink. She probably stinks really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that. Yeah, she probably got a nice stick. What's up, man? Y'all trying to avoid it? Give it to me. Give it to me. You are called 19 times on Sunday. You called me twice. You, you called, called Ball you, of Valentine's you, 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 you are called 19 times. He you called me called, twice. He called you me are twice. called 19 he times. Two times. Twice is a lot. Two times what is 19. I don't know, nigga. Who gives a fuck? You I called 19 <laughs> times two start, times. starting at actually eight, one starting at one second time. Starting at two. Starting at one thirteen. Something. See, because y'all say certain shit during the week, like for the pod, and my Virgo petty ass to just remember it. Okay. And just want to check up on it. I'm done okay. Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. Thought you, thought you, you thought you was going to hit me walking. I wanted, to hit, I wanted to hit him all up, see if he rented out the log cabin. Ah, uh, <laughs> sure. Um, Somewhere in Aspen? See if he had the toasted marshmallows. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, you went up there in Wisconsin? Uh, no, I didn't go to Wisconsin. I already know your style. You had the marshmallows. She was cozy by the fireplace. She was like, oh my God, what I wouldn't get for hot chocolate. You said, I went earlier, baby. Uh-huh. Yo, yo me me. <laughs> I went er- I went earlier, but I got the Miss Swiss. No, no. I got <laughs> Miss Swiss. Miss <laughs> Swiss. <laughs> nah. Baby, it's me. I got the Miss Swiss right in the cupboard. Nah, yeah. it wasn't none of that. It was real quiet. What you want? Uh, how you want your shit? My day was quiet, but you was you was the talker to you. Oh, stop, stop, stop. I'm not done with you. I'm okay, not done with you. Okay, okay, finish. Come on. She's like, no, baby, it's fine. You can put it in the microwave. You was like, I would never. I would never. Nah, I would I never. In the microwave. Stove, nah, stove, disgusting. stove yeah. top the miss the yeah, miss uh, Swiss for up. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stove top milk. So sure. I called them all up. No answer. Well, it was kind of early. One thirteen. Yeah, that's early for me on Sunday for sure. Yeah, didn't get an answer. Doubled back around three ish. I wasn't gonna let this go until he answered. Answered. So he answered the phone. Was it a FaceTime or a phone call? Phone call. I, I wouldn't <laughs> invade his space like that. Ah. I wouldn't invade the boy's space like that. I wasn't sure if you wanted to show him the spread. You invaded his space a lot. Though. Nah, I wouldn't invade the boy's space like that. No way. I thought you might want to show him the spread. Nah, I gave him a little regular call just in case he had something going on. Ah. 
Oh, he wanted a double date. I was going to say, yeah, double, double answered, on Valentine's Day. He answered the phone. No, I didn't want to do that with him. Just a cool little check-in. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he answered the phone, and he was laughing hysterically. Because I knew why he, he was calling me. He couldn't, like stupid. he couldn't stop laughing. Uh, I said, yo, what's so funny? And he said, yo, man, I'm just watching this... Uh, just watching this Meek Takashi stuff. And I said on Valentine's. <laughs> exactly. I said, wait, all right. Yeah. Now let me get, a look, get in a little mall <laughs> intervention here. Yeah. What's going on? And then that's how that went. And then we started talking about that. I just thought it was great that that was what I woke up to in my phone. Okay. Was so we'll, we'll Valentine's Day beef. I was how like, was, did how, you 69 after? No. <laughs> Parks, how was your Valentine's anyone? Day? We're not going to let him do it. We're not going to let him do it. We're not going to let him do it. Anyone. Parks. Anyone. Parks. It was a shot. It was a shot. It Listen. Was a shot. How Layup was, lines. Got to get warm. How was your Valentine's Day? Oh, it was delightful. Parksy. It was delightful. Were you Parksy? Uh, I was Parksy, sure. <laughs> I haven't seen the man bun like this. Yeah, he's, uh, you look he's a little Parksy. My from, shit's getting from long. Valentine's Day. He, come on, you got to bun it up. You know what his day was like? You got the man bun? You got to bun it up. She did your hair on Valentine's Day? I wish. She paid for your hair? She nah, paid for your hair and nails. Your you know, nails, yeah. You know, Parks had to pull it all back so he could get real messy for Valentine's Day. Mm. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Parks he pulled his hair back. Let's get bun? crazy. <laughs> Yo, Parks putting his hair in a bun <laughs> to get her going. <laughs> oh, I know what's coming now. Parks put his hair in a ponytail so he could get crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's Parks. Uh, the- oh. That's some funny shit, man. Yeah, it was nice. We slept all day. We ate food and we watched movies. It was Sunday, Sunday shit. Yeah. Sunday shit. That's all. We actually went to a restaurant. Okay. We did indoor dining. Uh, it was wow, weird. You're, you're was, part of the problem. I know. Stop this is my first time I've done indoor dining since probably this time last year. Yeah. It was it was it was all right. Yeah, it was, it was nice. Not, it felt it nice to bad. feel a little normal. Yeah. It wasn't scary. Anything memorable about the day? Just the love. <laughs> the love is very memorable. Just the love. Yeah. You could see you could see it in his face. Yeah. We kept it light, man. We're not, you know. We got each other some chocolate and cards, and that was it. The, 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 the lovey corny did you Did yeah. you learn anything about yourself or your significant significant other? Oh, we did play a really corny card game that Come was on. like about learning about each other, but it was pretty Come bad. Come on, share. Nah, the questions were really share, bad. But share with us. <laughs> it was just like, what's your favorite color and shit? It was terrible. Yeah. No, it was a terrible game. Stupid. And it said like the world's best couples game or something. It was It was, it not. was not the world's best. It was not. Like first date. Twister game. is much better. Yeah. Naked Twister. Naked Twister. Does that line still work more on what? a first date? What? What's Naked your favorite twister. color? Or naked twister afterwards. <laughs> no, put your, What's your favorite put, color? Put your hand your on your favorite off color. Your hand there. <laughs> yeah. Right hand on your I'm, favorite color. Yeah, I'm more with the twist on a first date type of thing. That's dope. That's real shit. I don't care about your favorite color. What wow. about you, Rory? How was your Valentine's Day? Uh, like I said before, I don't subscribe to these made up holidays by. Not nah, the Irish by white Irish Jesus. Yeah, you're not a pagan. No, you're not a pagan. Yeah, Irish and Cubans don't get along. Oh man, it's social constructs created by uh, by the white Jesus that y'all pray to, mm. and that ain't for me. No, mm. yeah, no. Nah, so see. if you guys want to go into Dwayne Reed and make Hallmark rich again, no, nah, I, you know I never really looked. You at do it like realize that. that Hallmark is like the only company that still does print and makes money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't even. That's kind of crazy. I didn't even yeah. break it down like that. Yeah, but let's stay on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy about by, Hallmark. By the way, but, you know what I love? Jo- Joe saying earlier, yo, how come you always try to kick my back in when I'm down? <laughs> <laughs> you are the biggest hypocrite I've ever met in my entire yeah, life. Trying to tell us what well, Hallmark, Hallmark is doing. Is doing. Yeah, where they had on the yo, stocks and all you know, they, you know, they were the most downloaded app last year. <laughs> Time <laughs> Magazine <laughs> can't even do print. But well, Hallmark how was your Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> the malarkey <laughs> that Hallmark is pulling you know what? Was how was your Valentine's Day? Rory Listen. gave us the Hallmark breakdown. Nah, you know, they import their paper from the Listen, my mother taught Sunday school. St. Valentine was a fucking creep. Oh my God. I don't subscribe to this. Come on. Give me oh. up. Give me air No, Rory and mine. And I don't know if St. Valentine was a creep. <laughs> I have no idea. He might have been, he might have been the nicest guy ever. <laughs> Yo, Rory is an idiot, man. That's some funny shit. Nah, like, did okay. anyone even meet Duke, though? And why is he nah. a saint? What's up with the Cupids and all that? And I, I don't I, even I, like his last shit. name. I like that you're asking these questions after Valentine's Day. I like yeah, that. Yeah, it's important. And, and what does he have to do with, like, the Easter, the Easter Bunny and Christ rising again? Show me the significance. Right. I don't fuck with bunnies on Easter. Right. Right. Santa... He's Come on, he's saying. definitely a creep. Some white guy is coming down your chimney? 100% a creep. It's about Jesus. <laughs> no, that's the KKK. Now we're talking about St. Valentine, and now it's about Hallmark? No, I get it. 
I, I, I y'all, wasn't y'all have not went to two fifth and done the science. That's all I'm saying. I wasn't expecting y'all to. They break scream it down. at me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting y'all to break. It's fact. Yeah, it's a fact. Yes. Mm? Yes. A similar event did take place. Pacific Northwest. You're right. You were right. <laughs> Our research found a published report of a similar story. <laughs> <laughs> a similar story happened to a young man in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> Rory. <laughs> he was the, he was the young Pacific man Northwest. That was place. you. You're right again. You're right. A similar story happened to a teacher in the Florida area. It, you were correct. It's fact. It's fact. It happened. This one took place. A similar story occurred in the state of New Jersey about 20 years ago. <laughs> And, and this week. And this weekend. <laughs> so you had a uh, good Valentine's Day. I will say right here on the first sentence. St. Valentine is a Roman saint celebrated in Western Christianity. Mm. Anytime they put Western in front of something, nah, Western that. medicine, where I know you're serious. West, white Western. people, white people. Mm. Yeah. Listen, man. So you didn't do nothing for If Valentine's I drop the jewels, y'all don't have to pick them up. It's cool. <laughs> so nothing happened for Valentine's Day. It's, it's basically what you're saying. Like You didn't do anything. You are just home chilling. You see how I tried to flip yeah, it Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Okay, that's what I gave him. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. (laughs) It was better than nothing. That's true. That's true. Give us the break. Taking this pod, man. Trying to take it out of Western culture. (laughs) We done with him already. We let him him get that shit off. Yeah, he gave us the science behind it. I'm never (laughs) mad at science. Gotta gotta accept the science. That's it. Nigga called himself Lace Daddy. We're gonna get into it. I'm I'm sorry? Somebody called himself Lace Daddy. Who called themselves Lace Daddy? I don't know. Somebody on some. Was that. Was they that had, person wearing lace? Yeah. That's, that was my next question. I think somebody had oh, What lingerie you gave her? That's very, that's very progressive of you. I don't understand the joke. You gave you gave her the lace Fenty? You threw us some lace on, on your body? How was your, how was your Valentine's Amazed. Day, Amazed. You yeah. slipped into something Amazing. more comfortable? You had a, a little corset? Time? It was good. Yeah. Have fun? Did you wear the garter a, belts? A blast. Your heart, your, heart, your heart looks full. You look like you're happy. I had an amazing evening. Okay. That's what's up, man. I seen the spread. New music. <laughs> How, wait, how'd you see him all? Uh, it was all over the uh, socials. It it looked like someone put paid advertising behind it because it just would not escape my algorithms. <laughs> he put a little twenty dollars in there. He put a sponsor up there. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Scream, man! What's happening up here? What you doing, yo? Whoa! <laughs> what you doing? Whoa! <laughs> whoa! What's happening? Nah, I knew Joe was in his bag. That nigga had lobster and bacon for breakfast. I said, "This is different." <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how you make lobster bacon. What part of the, what part of the lobster is that? Shit, this nigga just got his chef doing anything, man. <laughs> that chef got the easiest job in the world. Yo, make everything. Oh, yeah, that's, don't worry about it. Bacon and lobster. Can you put pork butt on a salad? Yeah, like, yo, listen, give me a salad with lobster and bacon. And grits everywhere. <laughs> Cheesy grits. The double cheese on the grits. Now, you look like you laid it out, though. You look like you laid it out. The Wait, hold on. There we go. Male friend encouragement. Give yeah, me some yeah, no, of that. You, look, you laid it out. Give me some of that. Did, did you come job. on, did man? Did you put a table in your living room when you have you a know he dinner did. table? Come on. <laughs> Tables on tables. <laughs> table for two. Come on, man. He did the table uh, for two. Y'all thought Lucky just, Day just, only he, did that. Yeah, he did the table for two. Y'all thought it was only Lucky Day that had a table for two. Table for two in the living room. No, it was Joe. Yeah. My bad. It was Joe. No, listen. Oh my God! Listen, How much Valentine's Day radio this year? Listen, they asked for the boss. You asked for the boss, so they sent me, dog. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, nah, that's that's a fact. They asked for you. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that craftsmanship. Mm. Sunglasses to match. Mall Rory. Whew. I'm sorry, I apologize. Mall. And you got Rory. our PS5. Come, come on, <laughs> come on, man. Ooh. Yo, yo, hold on. Ooh, look, hold on. At, look at the New York City Ooh. line. I, hold on, just, just just quickly before before we before we ooh it up before we ooh it up. Did Trey get his PS Five? <laughs> Come on, man! Look how my guy did it. Come on, man! It's light. The Baki. This looks like a six right figure there. Valentine's Day to me. Come on, that's back to pocket this, watching. This looks <laughs> <laughs> these, these white Close. boys, these white boys will not <laughs> stop pocket watching. I'm just doing the math. So that's anyway, not pocket watching. I, that is exactly what that is. No, but I'm I just doing the math. You can't do the math on someone's Valentine's Day. <laughs> No, <laughs> exactly. <Shit going>. No. <laughs> That's why the pocket and, watch. Yo, can yo, that, please, that, that Chanel went yo, crazy. Yo, <laughs> please send them their Bitcoin. Get this shit out of my phone. <laughs> Look at all of that. Look at all of that. That shit doubled the last week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now nah, you gonna send it when it go down? Right. <laughs> Listen, I had a really amazing evening. 
I meant to bring some of the rose petals in here and, and toss them Thank at you, you guys, that. but I'll do well, that uh, next part. No, you don't have to. Well, just quickly. I wanted to give you all a little dose of that. Come on, strawberries, chocolate. You can bring us some Chanel yeah. sunglasses. No, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, Five Chanel. Come on, man. Is gosh. it Valentine's Day if ain't no Chanel? Here? I don't know. That's true. I don't I, know. I never thought about it like that. I don't ask, know. Ask Western society. So that's now that, you're just that, buying into more it was, capitalism. It was, it was a real good. It was, the French supporting it was a, the French. It was yeah. a beautiful, beautiful weekend, mm-hmm. and my heart is full. You look like your heart is full. My heart is full. Well, I, w- I was on the way here. I'm glad you brought up that you were going to throw rose petals at us. Because I was on the way here, and I saw a lot of women getting their Galentine's Day off, which yeah. I think is dope. <clears throat> I, mean, I thought it was really cool that they were doing that. But I kind of felt a way that we didn't do Palentine's Day. Mm. So I found some stuff in my car. Okay. Oh, man. Did you give me some cigarettes or something? I got you. This is a face wipe from JetBlue. Oh, good luck. Okay. Yeah, I respect that. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is a this used is a this is a used lint roller. You just have to take off the first layer, and then uh, it's, a, it's a new one. You're wearing black. I figured it'd be good for you. Nah, Joe need that. And this is actually this is vitamin C with hand sanitizer. I might need this oh. back after we record though, because I like that one. So I thought I could do Valentine's Day with my oh, guys. Thank you, Rory. Yeah, man. That's kind. Yeah, like the girls can't just have Valentine's Day. Oh, you love us? I mean, oh, yeah, man. Rory, look at you. Y'all are my y'all are my Valentines. Thank you, Rory. Appreciate that. <sighs> Is your heart fuller, Joe? A few things I learned on uh, Valentine's Day. My heart's full. What did you learn? A lot more boyfriend reveals. There was a lot of that, yeah. A lot of boyfriend reveals. I, the most, I think, in Valentine's Day history in my 30 years. I ain't hate. I gave him a like. I, li- <laughs> I liked you and Duke. Mm-hmm. I liked you yeah. and your man. Ooh, I like his but, tattoos see, on his arm. A lot, lot of boyfriend reveal. Yeah. I don't want to get into it. Like, I want to let Valentine's Day kind of like just simmer out for a week. Stop but, hiding your fucking yeah, boyfriend gotta, through the rest of the year. Yeah. No, no, no. Stop Take hiding him even nigga, on man. Valentine's Day. Like, why are you just showing a nigga arm on Valentine's? Like, come on, man. What yeah, a doing? couple of y'all's with my niggas. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's that where Juan at with it. Oh <laughs> shit, she with Juan. Yeah, I just never understood that. Like, if you're not going to show your significant other, why show their leg? That's their arm. Yeah, that's just, that yeah. that's just yeah. weird to me. Like, I, yeah, I'm just not. I don't know. That, I, I know you don't want people in your business, but so then that's, that's still then, your business. Then, then just don't even post so anything. That's, exactly. So that's <laughs> right. one. It's a really simple thing. The flip side of that was I did a lot on the gram for my niggas to have fun with me. Pause for y'all mm-hmm. to have a blast. That was a lot of oh, that. You made us part of your Valentine's A lot of that was for y'all to have fun. The rest of it, though, is upstairs soundproof? No, Ding no, it's not. Sorry, I can't hear nothing. Ish, soundproof ish. Yeah. yeah. The rest of it, though, mm-hmm. a lot of sad face emojis out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, 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 but you know that's a lot right. of sad that's, that's, face emojis. But see, see, Joe, you, nah, you come on. You like playing that game, though. You like playing that game. We got to talk about it. It almost felt like you did that we for gotta, that. Yeah, that was that was kind of like. No, because Joe point B, there ain't no bitch that should be sad. Okay. Okay. If you're gonna stand on that, there, I respect. There ain't it. a bitch that's supposed to be sad. Okay. Nowhere. So okay, don't. Now. See, and that's where women get tricky because men fuck a whole bunch of girls. Not me, but men. Not me. When women, not you, not none of the men here, but no. when women are entertaining a bunch of guys, mm-hmm. they'll talk to a few of them as if they might be the only one. Mm-hmm. So that women get to get off the send a sad face when you stunting. Mm-hmm. Man, bitch, you not sad. Get right. out of here. Right. Right. So that's a little nasty. And you too. with a nigga right now, fam? Yeah, don't don't send yeah, don't do that. Don't do you that. sending me sad face emojis and you in the bed yeah, with a nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you can't do that. You can't yeah, do that. I and that. maybe my last realization of the weekend is, I'm not a uh, just fuck through the day guy. Got a time to fucks. Sure. You even gonna get this in in the morning, afternoon, a real nice session in. But in my head, I'd be thinking that any time in the day, it could be pound town. Mm-hmm. Okay, quickly, I'm gonna and stop you. No, no, I stopped myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I quickly so learned. So while Parks was pocket watching, <clears throat> I may have been food watching. Mm. No way you can fuck through all that food. Yeah, facts. A whole yeah. Three yeah, pounds of so food. much food. Three pounds of porterhouse, and <laughs> so now I'm getting to fucking? No yeah. way. Yeah. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> Look how much mac and cheese is on I'm that plate. I'm napping and yeah. farting for the next three hours. <laughs> we had None good. of this spread said, uh, oh, they're fucking. <laughs> real good time, though. Really? Nah, it looked like you look like you had a great time, man. Yeah, like a lot of romance. Joe know how to do shit for Valentine's Day where it's, it's for him too. Like you enjoy the moment as well. Yeah. Well, you don't get happy making someone else happy. Yeah, no, for sure. But I'm just saying, like you make sure that no, you guys. Yeah, that, of course, that bacon and lobster tail was definitely for you. 
No woman is ordering bacon and lobster tail for breakfast. Just, I didn't happening. order the lobster tail though. Yes, you did. I didn't. Your chef don't cook unless what you tell him. Unless he just you tell threw him the cook. lobster tail on it. Then he fucked it up the next night. He put some bullshit on that plate and laced me. Is that whole, is that whole lobster <laughs> he, fried? He, it was good food. A lot of love was in the air. A lot of love was in there. He threw the whole there. fucker right in there. Yeah. <laughs> so you breaded the shit out of, of that lobster. <laughs> yeah. Still squirming, not getting there, buddy. Jesus Christ. Right. Yeah, so, but I just felt I just felt like more respect needed to be put on my name. Like I felt the way from y'all, like y'all was questioning like my Ronnie romance level. I don't think we like, ever and I think because we be joking around in here, like no, we bet dude, you was a dude can get romantic. No, absolutely. Fam, yes, that's what. Yes. Then why is it funny when dudes get romantic? It's, it's always gonna but be funny. Why? When dudes but yeah. tell me why. That's his man shit. I gotta yeah. laugh at my nigga for throwing rose petals on the floor. What the fuck you doing, nigga? <laughs> I gotta uh, laugh. You just gotta laugh at shit like that. But it's it's dope for your lady. Like, yeah, get your shit. She off. cried. Yeah, of course. Listen, Aww. that's what it's about. She cried to me. Yeah, that's all right. But oh, is she right. one of those girls that cries over everything? No. Okay. No, she's one of those that's yeah. like mad that you're just crying. Oh, yeah. I'm a thug like, still, nigga. Uh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, you can take these fucking rose petals to your face. <laughs> but that's dope, though. Yeah. That's and it dope. just becomes yeah, the girl that cried yeah. wolf, and it's like, oh, uh, you Yeah. Can... And my whole body is, we got to uh, do massages Sunday night, and my whole body is still sore from it. Like, from I think massage? I'm, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I got to get into that bi weekly now. The way that they twist and contort you, and you feel. Oh, like, did you do a, You know where uh, it feels good, but it's a sting. Too? No. Uh, no, I did it. They was just tissue one recently. Yeah, deep yeah. tissue. Walk after. Sure. Oh my god, I was in pain. I dated but a like massage therapist pain. for a long time, like three years. Oh, that's pretty cool. She yeah, would leave. She would leave me. I would be using her for her services. And then I could see her <laughs> tight. Day. Like, yo, I just rubbed mad dudes' backs today. I'm not rubbing yours. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. All right. Do you think maybe you set the bar a little too high? Because that's what scares me with men that go all out on Valentine's Day. How are you gonna? How are you gonna continue not to do this every night per se? Even how, next year. How are you year? gonna continue this? <clears throat> look like quite the bar. Yeah, what's the birthday look like now? Shit. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta you take, cross that bridge. Yeah, you get you take this thing one one holiday at a time. Oh, yeah. For now, Valentine's Day was great. Mm-hmm. I felt great. Success. She felt great. Love. Love. Yeah. Love. As long as her heart is full and your heart is full, that's the that's the important thing here, Joe. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Morris. Full. I'm happy for you. Um. All right. What well, we got? There seems to be a lot to get to. Forty minutes in. You want to start with? Oh yeah. No. Meek and Meek and uh do. Meek and do since that's what Maul spent his Valentine's Day doing. Yeah. This was. Uh, that's where you found love. I couldn't believe that this was happening on Valentine's Day. <laughs> that's why I was laughing. See, now you understand why I was laughing on the phone with you. Why are these? Why what? are they doing this on Valentine's what, Day? What, what couple name did you make up? Uh, Mikashi. Mikashi. <laughs> Sounds like the guy that created Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Satoshi, Mikashi. Yeah. Um, this clip was released. For those of you that don't know what we're talking about, there was a Meek Takashi vid where apparently they were in a club in Miami. Uh, the story I'm getting is Takashi left, waited outside for Meek and his people to come out, and then there was an altercation with cameras. Uh, so you have all these different perspectives of this which Maul told me to make sure I go look at all of the perspectives I, I saw them all I yeah. saw the Meek angle I saw the Takashi angle I saw them mush the security guard and yeah. he didn't say nothing I saw the I saw it all so where would y'all like to begin in unpacking this I'm sad that we have to unpack this but here that's, we are that's, yeah, my, that's my overall point you said that we gotta unpack it yeah I'm sad look, that we look, have to unpack look this look at what <clears throat> is important it's not it right is now. it's not, yeah, it's not, not, right, not let me not, not say it's not important is not the word Look at what needs to be talked about within cultural shit. This is some stupid, corny, horrible things. That's when you feel like the uncle that may have outgrown just some of this stuff. Like, there is no angle of this that excites me to talk about. There's no way to, like, fam, on Valentine's Day, this is what y'all are doing. What stood out to me was Takashi's security guards couldn't hold him back. That's what told me all I needed to know. I didn't need to hear Meek say, hey, this is stage. He waited for us. He's trying to get us locked up. I can see that. <laughs> Which is why, look at the world we live in. Look. This is what you have to do to think you're relevant. <laughs> this is stupid. This is the, like, really, if you unpack, like, I need a real therapist to go through this entire thing. And not to Takashi. No, you just need the, a con- the consumer. I have a therapist. Oh. Um, <laughs> the consumer. Not Takashi. Takashi is doing what he knows the world will pay attention to. 
My blame is not to them. My blame is let's look at us. I'm blaming him too because that shit don't work. He ain't sell no. He ain't sell no more records doing this. That don't matter to him. Yeah, no. and it don't matter to his fans. <clears throat> this oh. is what. This is the new song. This mm-hmm. is the single. Mm-hmm. That's mean, what the world we're in now. This is the single. If you view it that way, and it's featuring Meek. If you view it that way, I understand. <laughs> this, like this is really what the world is moving into if not already there, of the things that are now important to us. I couldn't figure out what club this was in Miami where the parking is uh, in a garage. This is not booby trap. This is not none of the clubs that, you know what I mean, come to mind, play. Yeah, I don't, I'm Mr. not sure where this like, was at, but uh, I was just disappointed only because, you know, to me, Meek is on the level where it would, he, you, it's just too much dialogue. There's too much talking with what, this dude. What would you want Meek to do in this situation? I mean, I would have, wherever we was at, once we would have walked out those doors and saw that he was still there in the parking lot or he was there, I wouldn't even went out. I would be like, listen, man, get that dude out of here. Like, y'all clear the parking lot. I'm not going in that parking lot until he's gone. Because I, you know this is what he wants. He wants the interaction. Right. He wants the video. He wants the back and forth. He wants to post that. So it's like, you can't, you can't play into that, into, that, into that game. And this is, this is what he wants. So you think Meek knew walking out of that door that, Takashi I mean, once was right yeah, there. he saw him. Once he saw him out there, it's like, yo, listen, well, man, I'm not talking. Like, we not we not doing that. We not going back and forth because it's it's not going to be a back and forth. No, of course, there's a bunch of security guards in front of a screaming it's a guy show. with a phone. It's that's a circus. It. That's no, a, yeah, see, this but, is literally a part of the circus. But wait, I'm not going to be. be I'm not going to be so fast to call those dudes security guards because <laughs> they don't look like security guards, nor are they acting like security guards. So I'm not going to call them that. I don't know what they are. Mm-hmm. I don't know who they work for. I don't know who's paying them. I don't know what their role is. But it certainly wasn't to defuse anything or de-escalate anything. It's a, it's a show. Joe, it's we've, a show. we've they, yeah, watched They it. look like they're part of the show, though. Yeah, this is a show. A it looks you, like you, somebody you, said to them, yo, we got the phone out. You know what yeah. we're looking to get. This is a yeah. show. Just don't let it get too crazy. This and they show. played with we, somebody who they who who is on record as saying, I'm not going to get too crazy because y'all know where I come from and the judge just jammed me up. That's That's what he says on record. Mm-hmm. And we've also seen that with every Takashi stunt since he's gotten out of jail. And that security was in on yeah. everything as far as the show, yeah. too. Yeah. I'm not saying that they're not actually security guards and protecting him, but they're hired. That interview is not just, can you protect him? Will you be part of this fucking bullshit circus that he's going to perform? Yeah. See, but this is why when I go to Miami, I sit my ass in my room or I don't leave wherever, whatever's going on. Because Maul is right. Meek is seen with too many high-profile people to be in the same club as Duke. <laughs> yeah. You can't even, you're not even supposed to share. Y'all the same. not even supposed to club together. Hey. You can't share the same air with him. Not, not even the same Soho house. Yeah. yeah. All right, but to, to, to Meek's defense, he there. should go hang out with Tom Brady and them, you know? All right, exactly. Or, or, who, who knows? Or, or, or don't hang out. Yeah. Or don't hang out. Well, what, easy, what, what Drake said, all oh, you niggas is clubbing. I'm locked in the studio. I'm, I'm writing songs. I don't know what's going on because I'm locked down here. Okay, yeah. but part, part, Why of, is part of writing exempt? music is being in Miami clubs. Yeah, I'm not bad. Yeah, nah, I'm especially not Meek. I'm not rolling. Nah, that's, that's not true. But, no, this is this is here's the thing. Here's the thing. Meek is at a level to fam. Where, if you on your fifth album relying on Miami clubs to get something out, yeah, then no, you have a hard not, time. That's not what it is. That's, <laughs> that's not what it is. That's not true. Meek fam, just has part, to. Part of writing is living. Yeah, no, go but live me, in different situations. But no, 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 no. If you need to rely, it's not that. I didn't say rely. Y'all missing it? You said rely. You said you need to be in a Miami club to get part of life. No, you don't. No, you don't. Meek makes party records no, you with don't. young artists. Yeah, but you don't. You still, it's still certain places you don't need to be at. He could be there, but y'all you know, don't even know what club this was. It, he don't what, need to be it, whatever club it was. He should have been there. First of all, no, no, no. First, first and foremost, that. it's the day before Valentine's Day. You should be doing some super fly shit with a chick nobody ever seen before. Bo, yeah, all the shit. Look at y'all telling another man what he should be doing before yeah. Valentine's Day. Because because <laughs> look what he ended up doing. Fair, he walked out to his car and was minding his business from what nah, I know. No, I don't know. Nah, I don't know. No, 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 no. From nah, what I saw, nah. Meek walked out and then the show began. You know what we mean. There's certain things, there's certain places you're just not supposed to be in. There's certain areas you're I, just I not supposed to be in. I agree with that, but you that's guys all. won't even tell me what club it is. So that's why I'm saying this. Point. It, don't, it don't matter. We're to me, saying, it don't matter. What y'all told me this was live. I've been like, all right, maybe Meek doesn't don't matter be in live anymore. Any club that Takashi is in, Meek shouldn't be in. Is that a fact that he was in there? Or he was waiting outside? You know how easy it is for any civilian, when I, by civilian I mean not a rapper, not street shit, to Rory know where Meek, a lot. where Meek is at? Just, Rory's just arguing some shit. By the time Meek right gets now. in a club, mad people have tweeted where Meek is at. It's mad easy to find out where rappers are on social media. That's kind of my point, though. So You shouldn't be in places <laughs> like that. Rory. So just, I'm saying 6 9 may have not been in there. There's a bunch of fly shit you could be doing. 
There's a bunch of fly shit. Fam, they they a bunch find, of fun you they can find having. Jay on a private island. You don't think they can find Meek in Miami yeah, no matter how private the no, shit is? But, but what I'm saying is, Rory Takashi has never found Jay on a private yeah, island. You're just not, saying shit I'm right now. I'm talking about people finding no, where people are at. No, no, no. I'm other about, billionaires did I, did find Jay Z over there. there? No, 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 other no, no, billionaires no. find Jay Z on the island. You're right. No, Paparazzi does. But Paparazzi and Takashi is different. We're not talking about that. I'm talking about you shouldn't even be in a place to where this dude can get next to you to have this moment because that's really all he wanted was this moment. Agreed. That's all I'm saying. You got to remove yourself from these moments. You got to remove yourself from these moments. That's all I'm saying. Especially when you somebody like me. You you rubbing shoulders with the people you rubbing shoulders with now. You sitting in rooms trying to change laws. You sitting in rooms trying to like mm-hmm. make effective change in communities and shit like that. You can't then turn around and then post shit of you having an interaction with somebody that you've already expressed how you feel about this person. And I'm not deviating from that point. What I'm saying is that me could be with Robert Kraft at... Patriots fucking stadium and someone will find out and Takashi could go to that fucking parking lot and wait. No, he's not. And our res- no, no, no. <laughs> like, let me finish. Dude, no, let, me, let me get to him. Not the and Patriots my, re- and my response to that is then it's Meek's job to leave. Yeah. You're and, right. And wasn't that You're what right. he was trying to do? That can that can happen. The interaction can't happen though, Rory. Once I see okay. him, once okay. I see okay. you standing well, over I, there in the parking lot. I, I, I don't lot, disagree with that point. I go right back in the cut like, listen, clear that shit out. I'm not going out I don't disagree with that point. I'm only arguing to what y'all are saying where Meek now has to live underground and can't that's even not walk what to I'm his saying. car. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying stop, yeah. stop making yourself accessible to these moments from for happening. Like you gotta, you gotta start hanging out and doing different shit. You gotta elevate, bro. You gotta elevate. You can't be in the clubs that this dude goes to. That's valid. And I, that's and what my I'm only saying. Point was, can't I don't do that. know that he was in that club. Even and if that, he was, that was my. Let's point. say he was. He wasn't being Robert Kraft's let's, fucking uh, suite watching the Super Bowl. Listen, but he okay, could be you, in the parking okay, lot. Okay, you're right. Let's say he wasn't. Let's say he wasn't. But even when you see him in the parking lot, the dialogue and the back and forth, you yeah, cannot sure, get into that. Okay. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know you can't do that. You no, can't, you can't, argue, you can't exchange argue that no words with I'm that. I'm saying, I, Meek but looked like he was going to his car. But and that was my only Which is fine. Which is fine. That was my only. But try to say I was making that argument. On his way to his car, before he got to his car, he noticed the yeah. dude was in the parking lot. You can't spit on him. You can't talk to him. Sure. You can't That's all I'm saying. Totally but, with that. Because you can't do that. I'm a huge say, advocate of leaving these type of people alone. You can't Absolutely. scream in the camera. These internet weirdo kids. Oh, you trying to get me jammed up. Oh, you trying to get me locked up. If yeah, no. you continue the conversation with somebody who all we know is them getting people locked up. Right. Yeah. Because at what point does, it, does the onus fall on you? Yeah. Because now... See, Takashi to me is irrelevant. He means nothing in the in the grand scheme of hip hop, right. where hip hop is going, what it stands for. He means nothing. Which is why I say Meek should Meek, be having an inter- interaction. Meek, on with the him. other hand, yes. Now what we're doing is unpacking how Meek handled that. Right. Not we, but there's people out there that are now unpacking how Meek handled this situation. Where what situation? Like I was walking in my car. Right. Right. <laughs> but I, here we are now. And I'm not gonna do a back and forth with that. I will say, though, if, if I'm Meek and I'm just walking to my car and I may be with people that go mm-hmm. and this person, without any of my knowledge, runs up on me. Yeah, I might be saying, leave me alone. You're trying to get me locked up because the people around me go and you running around with a phone screaming like a fucking idiot with your cops in front of you. Yeah, but see, I, you know what? Dude, that too. Hold on, Joe. One second. Hold on. That? See, and that too, that's another thing that I'm not a fan of. Like, yeah, I... I know people that would go for me, but I don't ever want to put any of my niggas in a situation where they have to go for me. Sure. Agreed. Like, I look at niggas real different when they hire their mans as security. Like, how you hiring your friend as security? Like, you well, really put your friend- real security with them. I understand. I'm just, I'm not Which talking I'm, glad me. I'm just talking about a bigger conversation. Like, yeah. how you putting your man in a position to where he might have to do something that might cost his life or end up in jail? Like, I don't, I'm not and, a fan and, of that. And to that I say- if I'm just with my friend, he's not with me as my friend because I know he could go. We're right, right. Chi- we just childhood friends, and I want to hang out with my childhood friends. Absolutely. He just happens to go. Right, <laughs> right. But then I don't, I don't want to. I can't I don't, not ever not hang out with him, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't go out. Like I don't even go places if I feel like there's a possibility something might pop up. I'm the Wait, same way. Hey, I'm the same me, way. I don't even do that. I'm, I'm not the same going way. if I feel Wait, like something might. Like why am I even here? You're not the same way if you're sticking to what you just said. No, I'm talking about this I'm, I'm here to point out the, the contradictions. You just out. said, yo, you're hanging out with him as your friend, not as somebody that can go. So you're not going to not hang out with your friend just because they go. And I totally disagree. Yes, the fuck you will. If your friend goes and you can't be around a situation that goes, can't be with then him. you can't be with him anymore. And the thing about niggas that go, ain't no time to talk. <laughs> yeah. 
And that, that's my ain't point no, ain't in no this time, situation. <laughs> no, no, Rory. It's my point in this situation. Because if he's with some niggas that go, he ain't walking over to spit at nobody. No, this is He's not this walking is over to have this whole exchange. Like Maul said, he's going to protect his dudes that he know is going, and we're not going for him. Right. No. We out of here. I like how Meek handled it, but. No, nah, I don't. No, I don't like that. He got into that exchange. And, and to that point, that, that, was, that, that was, was an too much. He was, with, he was with security the way he should have been. Oh, that, yeah, no, for that sure. That isn't the friend that's going to go. Listen, that was just I'm hypothetically. Not, listen, Vaughn was with security when he, when he got shot. Yeah. You want me to tell you all the rappers that are with security when they either get to shooting or get shot? Like, that don't mean nothing, really. Yeah, that's like just by protocol. Like, yeah, you got to you gotta take yourself out of those situations. You got to As best as you because I'm not saying that Meek... Shouldn't go to a club. Of course. I'm not saying he shouldn't hang out that's with his homies. Kind of that's stupid. Saying. I'm never right. saying no shit like that. Right. I kind of think y'all just said that. I'm, no, no, no. That's Well, let me clear it up. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying that once we go in the parking lot and we see that dude standing over there and you got his phone and you can tell what he ready to do. Hold on. Everybody chill. Yo, clear that out. I don't understand I'm not why. Even, I'm not well, even going. Clear that shit out. Roy I'm not even totally going over there. understands this point. Listen, if you read, read a newspaper and it says Joe Budden got caught slipping on a hunt. 38th Street at 4 in the morning yeah, coming what, what out was the you building. Yeah, what was you doing over there? You're going to say, Joe shouldn't have been there. Exactly. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Exactly. And that's all. Joe know he shouldn't have been there. Right. Whatever happened then, I was fucked up. But why was he there? Right. And we don't need to go in circles, but I asked yeah, y'all if you knew what club he was at. No one is giving that. me that uh, answer. I don't care what club don't, he was at. So that's why I'm not sure Meek shouldn't have not been there. I don't, I don't care what and club he was at. And I'm not saying Takashi was just chilling outside. He needed to act like the fire truck. Like I said, I heard this was a restaurant at one point, not a club. Whatever. Wherever he was at, Meek can go wherever he wants. I'm just saying, once you see that dude standing in that parking lot, you can't have an exchange with him. You can't let that happen. Yo, and no. you got to know, I'm, I'm done talking about Meek now. I'm just talking about how you move in this industry. I was hanging out with some uh, with uh, with some people a few months ago. Uh, and we was trying to get shit shaking. It was like, yo, where to go, where to go, where to go? It's like, yo, uh, well, Tori over there, Booby Trap was such and such and such and such and such. And I'm like, all right, I know Booby Trap is hot. You thinking about going to Booby Trap? And they was like, no, nah, I can't do that because Tori's there. That's my man. But no, that's a mess. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He going through what he going through. I'm going to go over there. If I hug him, it's something. If I kiss him, it's something. If I say hi to him, it's something. That's just not for me to go. Mm-hmm. The end. Right. The problem solved. You could want a club. You could want to turn up. You could want to have fun. You could want to spend money. Like Maul says, a certain way to, you got to level up. Shit, he made the song. He made, he made that slang. <laughs> right. <laughs> and that's all I'm saying. When, you, yeah, he when, made you, that when you reach a certain level, you could do super fly exclusive shit yeah. where nobody can't get around you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I'm talking about that's the fun shit. Arguing that, that club shit ain't fun. I'm I don't give a fuck with nobody. Shit. That club shit is corny. With you, that club shit is corny. The real fun is when Come niggas, my mansion. niggas yeah. have a, Bring a some private clothes. spot. The club, the club shit is the corny shit. The that's the corniest shit. Yeah. Dude, dudes do the private th- private parties at a house mm-hmm. or the resort, the villas. Yeah. We here. This is what we doing. The, the chef. We got yeah. the drinks. We got whatever we need. Smoke. Yeah. That fun you That's see, fun. that fun you see when all the Instagram baddies are in Cabo together, just with no men. Yeah. Conveniently. No, it was a girls' trip. That's yeah. the fun. <laughs> That's the fun. That's the fun we supposed That's to be having. Fun. That's the fun. That's what yeah. they do. Hey, and the sad part is, and I'm, I'm not talking about Meek, but it was Valentine's Day, so the next day you saw how niggas gave it up. Yeah, you saw so what money. You gotta deal with you all saw, that the you saw what Quavo was doing. You saw what Offset was doing. You saw what Money Back Yo was doing. You saw what niggas that's in that groove. Uh-huh. Hey, it's day day. Me, I'm not in that group. But you seen what I was doing? Like, it's day day. Uh-huh. This ain't about, this ain't time for me to go find Duke to owe me money. And like, this <laughs> yeah, is man. not the day. Yeah. That's I just, it. And, just and, I, and I respect Meek and I have him. Like, he's very important to his generation mm-hmm. and, and to what he represents. He's very important. But moments like that, that's where one wrong thing could destroy all that you worked for and built. I, That's complete, all I'm I completely agree with that. That's all and I'm I wasn't you fighting can't your point. In no, no, I understand to, that. To conclude my point, I don't know where Meek was coming out of. I don't know that Takashi 6ix9ine was there. I know that bouncers and security guards all know and work with each other and have sent mad text messages. Yo, this person just walked into the spot. Mm-hmm. You know, Ghostface made the song run, though, right? Right. <laughs> Just saying. I don't know the details to say Meek was in a place he shouldn't have been in, that Takashi wasn't waiting outside because he got a tip from another security guard that talked to another security guard that got into the private spot. I don't know. Whenever that was Meek, my only point. Whenever Meek sees If dude, Meek was at run. a regular ass club with Takashi 6ix9ine, yes, Meek, you shouldn't be in that club. Where, if you're at the laundromat and he walks in, you should run. 
That's what I'm saying. Fair. I'm about the club. Wherever he sees him, no he should di- run away. Zero dialogue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zero yeah. dialogue. Yeah. Not, not wrong there. Not yeah, wrong there at all. That's, that's all. Um, what hey, else? Hey, prayers to everyone involved. <laughs> no, pray, prayers to me. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> prayers to me. Rest in peace to Vincent Jackson. Oh, Save yeah, me on many a fantasy football Sundays. Yeah, man. Even that, not I'm, that's not important right now. He was uh, a beast, man. Vincent Jackson, yeah, he was, he was a, beast. a beast. Yeah, he was a beast. Um, Vincent Jackson was found dead in a hotel room in Tampa. Yeah, yeah I believe so. Yeah. Really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Uh, no details have come out about this. Yeah. Rest in peace, Jesus. Yeah, prayers to the peace. family. Yes. To yes. Family. Yes. Listen again, I'll tell y'all, it's been death every podcast. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. Rupert Neve Neve died. He's an engineering superhero. Yeah. He invented all these things Absolutely. that we talked to. I saw. Absolutely. Yeah. I saw that. Very big deal. Absolutely. Very big deal. It's important for us to talk about music, especially new music and up and coming artists, because it dawned on me when I found uh that song by that young lady I love, right? And when Maul and yeah, Maul does it a lot when he reposts like a artist bigging up the fact that we big them up. Like it brought me back to remembering what it was like to hear myself on the radio for the first time. Yeah. Like And it hits I, a little different here, I think, than than radio because we only talk about and play a certain amount of shit. But it's the same. It's the same. It You're is, right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah. But it's so the same. Like if I'm a new artist at a label not getting any support or attention and I'm busting my ass making music and then the hottest podcast out mentions me and now the label heads maybe heard that and now they're paying attention now because mm-hmm. someone outside said they're paying attention. I know mm-hmm. how that feels. Yeah. Yeah. So like it didn't hit me till over the weekend that damn, it's important that we never escape that because the new artists don't really have that. No, Mi- I, I mix went, show on radio is not mix show anymore. It's programmed. Right. Yep. Uh, the Pl- video playlist, the, playlist for the most part. Videos are, you got to yeah, pay for. Payola. <laughs> playlist you got to pay for. Where is the organic? It really is pods. I won't be arrogant and say just us, but it's just pods. Yeah. Well, that's now. that's. I went on a, a little rant. I did a little Monday IG jam session because I hadn't in a while last night, and I got kicked off twice, and I ended up I, going, up, going saw, on a little rant. I saw you on there, and it. It confused me when I saw you because there's been plenty of nights where I wanted to just cut Instagram live on and jam. But I know that they changed the rules uh-huh. and I know that the licensing police send you something to say that you don't own this music and you can't rock. And they'll warn you and then they cut your shit off and I get angry. So I, I tried to not play bigger records and I still got the copyright thing and then went back on and went, and went on a, you know what people perceive as an angry rant when you're yelling. And I wasn't mad. It just doesn't make sense to me that I'm like a Joe rant. More or less, yeah. I don't, I don't um, get your any, veins any, anytime, anytime Joe speaks. <laughs> Y'all still never broke that down to me. Maybe I really, I really don't, dumb, be mad, but how, why? So okay, so when D Nice goes on live, mm-hmm. he has a deal. D Nice is, yeah, he has. That, that's what people were saying in the comments. He has deals with and, the labels. And my issue is to your point of the acts that may be C list in the label. Why are you copywriting their music? Your copywriting deals with these social networks should be different. Agree. Y'all should be paying me to play this music on my platform. But you're right. I know what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You should want the promo. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You should want the algorithm to algorithm. It's like I have more followers on uh, Chitty Chatty House Mm. than I do on Instagram and Twitter, and I've been there for five months. (laughs) It's because the algorithms. Our algorithming over there. Yeah. And, and my point is, someone with my platform that is known for playing new the R&B fame. music. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm being, I'm keeping a buck. You're right, but the fame. <laughs> um, that should be something where I'm asking for money to play y'all shit from a label. But I love music, and I think that's corny. Yeah. So I just play the shit I love. I love to highlight really talented artists. Uh-huh. So when I do that on my Instagram, why are you blocking like why are you cutting me off? That shit is the way you do greed, the way you do corporate the corporate that, that's that's bad business that and stupid. stupid greed because you are stepping over a dollar to make half a fucking penny. Yeah, uh, it's promotion which you'll make money eventually because everyone on my Instagram is now going to go find that record on yeah. the comments. What record is it? What record yeah. is it? I'm shazamming, I'm shazamming it now. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go listen to it. You think people how they consume music is wait around for people to IG live? No, they'll take music from it and then go listen to it right. on their own. The quality's not even that fucking good. The right. point that you it's making, free promo, and you're cutting me off from making you money. 
And I'm not asking for any. I'm just doing this because I love new music. Right. You know, the problem I, the problems I thought I would escape by retiring from music still exist in podcasting. Still exist in everything that Rory is saying. It's business. It's bad it's business. business. It's, po- bad, it's bad politics. Business. You know, those first politics. few years of pod, and it felt so great to not have to rhyme words, <laughs> not talk to A&Rs, not talk to label execs, not deal with release dates, spins, clearances. playlists, clearances, budget, videos. Oh, when the labels found out you needed social content. <laughs> 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 hey, so that, people got paid hey, to tweet. Hey, that, that shit hit them like a bag of bricks. Oh yeah. Hey, you should get a uh, videographer to follow you around during the week. I'm like, yeah, I said this for fucking 15 years. Now you want to say when I don't have nothing going on, what are they going to follow? <laughs> Ain't nothing. I'm, I'm just waking up. <laughs> right. Hey, hey, you should preview preview your music. I yeah. can't speak. Preview your uh, music on your t- IG. I'm just waking up trying to figure out where I'm going to eat today. <laughs> so not nothing really to not as content. Nothing really to film that's or content. record. No, that's content. I mean, that is content. But the point Rory is making led me to led me to anywhere I go as a creator, they're going to follow me. It's them following me. It's them following you. It's them following us. It's not a surprise that they just pop up when shit is profitable or when you got a buzz or when you done made some shit or when they figure out how to monetize some shit. Like, you can't leave them because they're following you. Mm -hmm. So here we are. We right back in it where, yes, Maul, D-Nice is going to get a deal because no one man should be able to play music and have Michelle Obama and Barack and Cicely, whoever is amazing, yeah. Yeah. was in there. So all of the labels said, oh, he gets passed. Hey, they do it to me sometimes. Universal reached out. And it, it, hey, it we'll give you a blanket license, man. Play what you want. Hey, sometimes we play some shit and the label stops it. And when I make a call, which is annoying, but when I make a call, they'd be like, oh, our bad. We didn't know that was you. <laughs> we didn't know. We wouldn't, we wouldn't have done that. It's just a... And I, and I understand that they do <laughs> that the, they do the copyright is. deals across the board. We're trying to grab every last person ever that plays our music without us monetizing it. You should stop doing that. You should yeah. look more into these copyright laws and make custom deals for certain platforms. And it should be. Uh, and I just think on live period. Like, yeah, it should be. It should I, be anyone should be able to play. I certainly music. don't want someone to take my shit and put it on their YouTube channel and monetize off it. I understand in a that. super high format. But if people are playing my shit on a podcast or while they're playing video games or on Instagram yeah. live, fucking have a Twitch blast. does well with that. Like, I, I makes All no sense to shit. me. I wish someone would explain it to me because I could be wrong. I don't know everything. Yeah, there's a I'm difference between shit, bootlegging and, like, playing some shit because you want to play some shit. promotion. Word. Even if we play a fucking Drake record on this podcast, you guys aren't losing money when we play a, a snippet of a song that's been out for 10 years. Right. Just let it, just let us play it. Right. <laughs> Not how that goes. <laughs> Shit is so stupid. stupid, man. So stupid. You're acting like it's we're dumb. doing a fucking Toyota commercial and then we played a Drake record and didn't pay him. I can't no, be in my right. house just, playing music on my IG Live. Just like <laughs> it's stupid. That shit is stupid, man. It's not stupid if the creator signs away the rights. <laughs> no, that's stupid. But it's stupid I'm not even that talk, I can't. I'm talking about the labels that are making the money off it. That's I'm talking about that's bad business for them. You'll make more money if you let people promote the music. Yeah, people will actually go to where you monetize it because you have fucking stake in every single streaming service. Oh, I heard that song. I'm gonna go listen to it on streaming where you make the money. You should actually. I'm not gonna easy. shut down the free commercial, <laughs> so you I should, won't know what song this is. You should incorporate Shazams and links right into people's shit, so that like when people play shit, they can get actionable. Right. You know, it's right here. Here, just click the thing. Well, the, la- the labels have deals with Shazam, so that's why that works. But I'm saying they, they should incorporate that in YouTube and, and Twitch and IG Live where, yeah, you could play my shit, but it's immediately going to pop up as like a link to the song. Mm-hmm. No, I agree with that. Nice. That would be fly. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. That was some, I, I probably just gave away a good idea. What has to happen for y'all to realize <laughs> that there are no attempts to make the business better for anybody? Oh, no, we got <laughs> Like, I get no, confused. We just, we just talking about it. Yeah. Just, just venting. Just, just venting. Yeah, you they're like, they're doing what you do uh, bi-weekly. Yeah. Yeah, so we do. Is Complain. that what I do bi weekly? I'm sorry, <laughs> weekly. Is that what I do weekly? Can you move when y'all like when I y'all said? when y'all give y'all Joe Locked impersonations? I want a full fledged impersonation. Like do when boxes. I'm ill too. Mm-hmm. Like don't just do when I'm corny and taking L's and wearing a 
football, basketball jersey, and no, nah, that's when like, it's that's fun. not how the internet works. Like yeah. do it, do it when I'm dope too. Nah, yeah, you, th- you think you that's what the internet was gonna do? Yeah, no, <laughs> nigga. I'm talking to my friends. Oh, <laughs> not the internet, but it's fine. You're the internet too. Um, all right, what else is our new music? Uh, are we are we on new music? Yeah, no. Gonna, well, we recorded on Thursday, so we didn't get to hear any of the Friday drops except for the Nipsey and Jay record because it came out on that Thursday. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, music dropped. Uh, the Judas and Black Messiah inspired album. Uh, I like produced it. Produced by Hit Boy. It's it's really good. I have, I have it pretty high already in my recent soundtrack joints. Sure. Very high actually. Yeah, there's, yeah, a lot of, there's a lot of slaps on there. Yeah. Real good project. I was surprised. I mean, when we went through the track list and you know we read off the the names and stuff like that, we was we was like, okay, this could be a, something dope. But it's they really did a really really good job with this. Really, really good job with the soundtrack. And the movie was dope. Yeah, I really liked the movie, too. Yeah, the movie was dope. I watched that last night. Damn, man. My man, why Lakeith did that shit, man? This movie was good. I had to go. I had to not root for him. <laughs> I had nah. to not root for Lakeith this time, man. Yeah, it's hard for me to root for Lakeith. Like, after seeing this movie and then him moaning on Chatty House, it was like, all right. Uh, he said that wasn't him. He said that wasn't him. He oh, that was he, his. That he was said he played an audio recording to fool the Jezebel. Ah. It wasn't actually him moaning in the moaning. E. <laughs> hey, that's how niggas clean it up now. Hey, <laughs> no, that wasn't me. <laughs> hey, first of all, why you have an audio recording yeah, yeah, yeah. of a, ma- a male moan? We ain't got to go into that word. Don't Do you worry about guys that. have any great takes? I'm sure it's on YouTube. Any great takeaways from the uh, soundtrack or just it was dope? And go um, listen to it. It was really good music. This is, <laughs> go this check is, that shit out. It was dope. No, this okay. felt like um, this Got felt it. like how soundtracks used to be for movies. For A little me. bit, yeah. That's how I felt for me. Yeah, bring back the good soundtracks. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like them. I like the way like with Mo Money, Boomerang soundtrack, shit like that. Back in the days, how those soundtracks were like. It break it breaks artists like just yeah. the first time hearing them. They got a dope record on the soundtrack. Yeah. This kind of felt like that for me. But there's At- a lot of artists saying that we like like BJ Chicago Kid, yeah. Masego, Pooh Shiesty, like a lot of. Names that people know, but like haven't really cracked yet. Yeah, happy. They, they, good they mix they mix the artists very well in the sense of super legends, super lyrical, non lyrical, mm-hmm. straight R and B. I'm not gonna say Smino and Saba are unknown, but up and coming artists right. that may mm-hmm. not be on the Nas level right now. Right. Throwing a Kiana let a and the Nas record let, stuff. let ASAP mm-hmm. rap real quick and sound real good. That ASAP record is great. Yeah, shout like, out to D Dot produce that. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, shout out to that. Um, nah, they just, they chose, I know it sounds cliche, they just chose the artist way better than I've seen anyone do as of recent in a really long time. Maybe um, Black Panther soundtrack yeah, that yeah. Kendrick did yeah. Yeah. would be the closest, I mm-hmm. would think, that the last time this happened so well. And a lot of that was TDE. This was a mixed bag of everything. Mm-hmm. Happy or sad about the unreleased Ross verse on what it feel like? Oh, I didn't hear it. Happy it didn't make the cut. It. Or I did, it, did it leak? It didn't. Somebody was playing it. It, it, oh, it did not. It didn't play. leak, but somebody played it and said this was supposed to be on the song and it's not Shit. on the song. And Ross sounded great, but I mean, that's that's a Ross. I was esque beat. Absolutely, definitely a Ross esque beat. But I like hearing other rappers over a Ross esque beat. I don't sure. necessarily have to hear Ross over the Ross esque beat. Like yeah, I thought the okay. song was right at two verses. Yeah, um, it would have been probably long. I didn't need I didn't need to hear any, any any more, but man, what a record still. Yeah. And great soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah. You sure. gotta ignore anything that Rory texts you when there's hype around something that drops. Oh, like, he texted right, you that was a good soundtrack? No, no, no. No, he, no what I texted y'all was true. I don't remember the text, I'm sorry. Where, and I texted y'all where, about where, the raw where shit. Where was the verse too. different? I didn't make the deadline. Not the Ross thing. I, the, what I texted no, y'all. I'm talking about yeah, the longer verse. It didn't make the deadline. I said, I don't know if he's going to make the deadline, but they're there right now. I'm not rolling with that. I was on FaceTime. What are you talking about? I'm still not rolling I don't, with that. Okay. All right. I never mind. <laughs> Rory hit the group I chat. Didn't, I didn't look at Thursday it. Thursday night late and was like, yo, I have to think a different, a longer verse is coming out because blah, 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 blah. But I'm like, man, it's three in the morning. <laughs> it's mm. Like this shit is coming out in it was, a it was, it was also like 11 p.m., but. <laughs> Same shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, table for two. Lucky day. He killed that. I like it. I didn't listen. How was it? It's a body. Yeah. Dope. Dope. Good. Project. Good. Seven body. It's phenomenal. Perfect really? timing. Yeah. Really dope. Really, really good. Dope. A grower. 
It's a grower, not a shower. <laughs> it's a grower. And I, I don't I don't say that to say that it's it's mid upon first listen, but when I first heard it, I, I didn't get all of the greatness that was there. And boy, it was a lot of it because it was different. It was different. That's what I like about Lucky Day. Like his shit, when it comes out, it sounds different than the other R&B that I'm used to hearing. And that's what he gave me on majority of this whole shit. I loved all the features. Features, features. Um, looking a how lot, was it different? A lot like, the, like a Rory sleeper playlist. I just want to make that clear. A little Yebo on there. But was like the production Lyle different? Or Ari, like the way Joyce. he was singing? What, what, what's different? Well, the production was different than I'm accustomed, accustomed, uh, accustomed to for him. Right, okay. Which I think when he led with on red, I kind of felt like this project wasn't going to sound like a typical. That song record. still isn't for me. Mm. Okay, I could see how it sounds better throughout the project. The project. I, I, I yeah. liked it, and it does sound her better. Her coming project. on, nah, it didn't do it for me. But the production is different. He takes the second verse or the lesser part in a lot of these songs, and that's different for me. He let hmm. the he let the woman lead. Okay. Um, well, it's table for two. So, I know, yeah. but that didn't say he was letting the woman lead. Well, okay. He just said well, table for two. Well, he has to pay. Well, which <laughs> and, and, and which there's some shit around. There's some, some shit surrounding the uh, concept of this where somebody is claiming that. That's the new thing today, too, where creators today have a hard time realizing that they can think of something and someone else can think of something. The concept with this is that he's with other women. Or he's with women on the songs. Well, the concept Correct? that they're saying mm-hmm. is stolen. There's another artist saying that the table for two concept in terms of artwork with you at a diner looking pub alone, the back art, uh-huh. they're saying, and they, they're they saying that the chords are similar in one of Homeboy's records and the on Red I'm tired of that. Yeah, 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 I'm tired of that. I was going to do an album with female. I still may. Like female, male thing. That's because you're a biter. And no one can ever do music that's a, with women again. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do music that's with not, women. That's not the most <laughs> crazy concept to come up with. No, yeah. I didn't read too much into I, I did see that, and I saw that he posted the artwork that looks similar, title and all that. I didn't listen to his music. It looked to a know little similar. It, was, it did. It definitely did. <laughs> but, but I mean, for but, me. I mean, if I come up with the title, Table for Two, I may shoot it at a table. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's just a guess. So, yeah. I, well, for I me, know. even if he bit off the concept, like the artwork type stuff, yeah, that's fucked up, Lucky Day. You shouldn't do that if you did that. And I don't think he did. I don't think he That'd did. That'd be the thing where you never even heard of I this artist yeah, that's like, yo, you, you bit my shit. It's like, I don't even know you. Ooh, right. I've never even heard of you. Going through that in podcast land. Don't get me started. Yeah, like, I don't, I've never even <laughs> heard of you. new podcasters. Who the fuck are you at episode seven? I didn't bite off you. I don't know you. I never heard of you. Nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> well, that's why so many artists stopped taking, like when demo discs were actually a thing. Yeah. Like, no, I can't take that. Right. I, I mm-hmm. feel like it was um, yeah, cause John, John Legend. Uh, got sued for like a quarter or two because dude had a picture from a meet and greet that proved that he met John Legend and that was proof that he passed that demo that day. And John Legend was like, I never, even if he left it at the meet and greet table, I didn't take it. Right. right. And but my, just what he probably but, did. But he, and, lost, right. he lost in court. And my version of ordinary people settle? is different from your <laughs> ordinary people yeah, that, you, that you made that day. Yeah, yeah. Yours, was a yours, more ordinary. yours was ordinary. Yeah. <laughs> and that's my thing when it comes to this. Like conceptually, okay, I understand that. But homeboy, eventually we got to get to the music. And right. Lucky Day's music is... Well, no, nah, let me say this. I don't like, I don't want to see artists steal other people's concepts, even if they can execute them better. I don't want to co sign that at all. Right. Well, so I, I, just, that. I just don't yeah. think that Lucky Day saw that shit and said, nah, fuck that. Let me just do this same thing he did. Your right. dope concept isn't the end of the job. Like, at all. You need, you need to make the music, too, that's going to be on par with the people that are going to steal your concept and your music. Yeah. Yeah. And that's then nobody, the business, nobody that's the jumped out there and said he bit anything off his amazing first album. Right. Like we ain't seen none of these crazy. So he, he, he took that. The concept and the music is still only the first twenty five percent of what you have to do to get your shit out there. Exactly. <laughs> like, that how much can a heart take? Mm. That could have been the end of the EP for me. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, it, did, it yeah, didn't need to be another song. There. Yeah, but is incredible. Yeah, yeah this but, is a really yeah, good project. That chick. I liked it. I liked it a lot. And then he got to my window because, of course, on red is not there for me because I purchased it, and there's no way to add it to the album. Yeah, that is the dumbest yeah, fucking thing. You gotta delete it from your um your library. If yeah, I you delete can, it, how's it come back up? 
Because then when you buy the whole album, yeah. but I have yeah. the album ready. Yeah. So delete so now the album. But before you buy the album, you got to delete the singles that you already bought. Right. It's, that is the it's, dumbest it's dumb. thing. It's yeah, it very is. dumb. It is. All right. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Either way, uh, how much can a heart take? Loved it. Uh, my window, which is the next song for me. I love the fucking rain flip. Mahalia went crazy. Ari access denied. Y'all know that's one of my favorite. Mary, I'm the only one. You need. So. Not mad at the flip. Is that okay, Gloria Estevan, please? Yes. It's, it's, <laughs> all right. Great. Dream Queen Naja. I've been trying my best not to hear anything Queen Naja is on, but this worked. I was going to say, I love that record. No, I love this record, okay. too. <laughs> yeah, that shit is great. And I have nothing against Queen Naja. I like her, but I, I saw a wave of people trying to convince me of it for like eight months, and I try my best to stay away when you do that. Okay. But I, but I fuck with her and she fucks with us. Friend of the show, friend of the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does fuck with us and we fuck with them. Uh, uh, Joyce Rice. Joyce Rice, you Come know, on. that's that's friend of the show. Come that's, on, that's man. That's my people. Come on, man. And then Lucky Day, the project was so amazing that as the algorithm started algorithm rhythming on my Joe Button radio shit, I bumped into a whole bunch of other just new artists, maybe nice. songs I missed. So I'm just throwing shit out there. What the fuck is this? What is this? Who is... I mean... Hold up. Who you, always, is, you always win me over when a song starts like this. <laughs> who's Mooney Long? I don't know. M-U-N-I. Long. Who is this? You know if you're featuring Jacob Lattimore, I'm going to listen to it. And if you're <laughs> sampling SWV Week, I, you got me. And if I listen to this on Valentine's Day Week and when I plan to go to Pounds... Come on, man. Hold up. Alex, you're not a real R and B head. Don't bop that hard when this is don't you ain't gotta bop this hard when this is on. <laughs> Wait. Does anybody else in the room hear this? Can you meet me in the kitchen for a midnight snack <laughs> at three in the morning? That's that's daddy vibes right there. <laughs> <laughs> daddy That's vibes. daddy vibes. I'm waking up 1 a.m. waiting for her to get that little bathroom walk in. Go ahead and walk to the bathroom like this dick ain't hard when you get back. <laughs> A midnight snack? Hold up. Oh. Yo, this so RB don't look like it's in bad shape for the decade. I don't know who these people are. This video looks I don't know who these people are. RB's in very good shape. Hopefully, her label is paying her attention. I'm only doing this for that. Why haven't I heard this? Ah, oh, I love a midnight snack. Hey, who the fuck is this? Yo, Joe Button Radio started getting their shit off. I know Van Jess, so let me not do that. I just didn't know Van Jess put an album out, yeah. and I didn't know that this was on there. Van Jess is one I of thought, them people I just I, buy all the I singles. I thought I played Slow Down. This record? I don't know. I, I, I never heard this of this. This Van Jess shit is crazy. I normally am mad at people with the rump shaker uh <laughs> sample, but not not uh ah, what does it not work? Not show me what you got. <laughs> I've heard it not work. I've heard it not work. Not by a group that we would know. Okay. Somebody <laughs> failed with it. <laughs> oh wait. Mo, Mo, you're not ready for the log cabin with this Van Jess. <laughs> Yo, this song was so hard with the sample, the verse. Wait, that's dumb? Man, Trey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I thought they was going to get to the hook and fuck it up. Hold up. No, of course not. This coming off the midnight snack? <laughs> and they're they're even too old for Trey. Bam. You just feeling that? Who the fuck is this nigga? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who these people are. This is Fabo, Fabo, P H A B O. Who are all these new fire niggas that sound? I'm out of touch. <laughs> I'm outdated. I'm washed. I just been playing Janae and them. <laughs> I'm shocked you didn't know the Van Jess Slow Down record. I know Van. I hate when Rory does that. I never heard that song, Rory. That's what I'm talking about the song. And I didn't said, know they snuck an album. I said the record. I said the record. Yeah, no, I never heard that. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, no. well, fam, why am I a sucker for when they do this? <laughs> when they make the beat all munchy. <laughs> Yo, I. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Keep playing. <laughs> Keep playing. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I know. I haven't played new music on here in a long time. I know. YouTube, I know. You're missing out. I don't care. I don't even care. <laughs> Tell them to fucking fix the papers back there. P- fix the paperwork back there. <laughs> <laughs> hey! And while I'm on all this fucking type of vibe, I totally missed the WizKid album that dropped in October. It's craziness. Is this a music part or what? Why didn't I know about this stuff? Y'all <laughs> we didn't know mention I'm... the WizKid album? No. No, we did not. Oh. I think we did. I thought we did mention it. I think we definitely did. Yeah. And I thought you loved it. <laughs> the one that dropped in October? Yeah, end of last year. Is nuts. I didn't hear it. It's like sexy man nuts. Mm. It's romantic. It's saxophones it's all over. Sexy man nuts. It's se- <laughs> Pause. I'm, what, it's, it's trumpets and flutes and saxophones uh. all over it. Is what I'm saying. Sexy man nuts. <laughs> the inflection is important there. And then he followed over. It's just trumpets and flutes everywhere. <laughs> I hate this one. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! <laughs> oh man! Yo, oh, my home was good. Though, Wait, man. hold up! My girl put an album out. I'm here today, man. Just that shit. Alicia, Alicia Bella, who I love, <laughs> snuck an album out. Mm-hmm. Not snuck, but it's out and it's hard. All of it. Shout out to her and Justice. <laughs> it's all hard. Yeah, she's dope. Wait a minute. Justice, what up? Yeah, I'm on my music, but I gotta put niggas on for Valentine's Day. Yeah, you know I mean, I can't have you looking chump when you grab the ox out there and she with you. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> give me that little fake uh, '80s bass line. Where is it? It's coming. Uh oh. Hey! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Yo, new music will never fail you. It'll never fail you. No, no, new music fails you. Don't do that. <laughs> no, new music fails. I've definitely been you failed. Know, There's you know a lot of new music that came out that I can play right saying. now. You be like, turn that shit off. I ain't gonna play no more new music, but. It's some more shit. Look, I found a Trevor Jackson song that snuck by me in 2016. <laughs> Damn. You're going to piss YouTube off. Fuck. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Sip without a record, missing out. Not that powerful yet. <laughs> uh, Eric Bellinger, hit maker. Take some of that dip off the chip, buddy. 1-800-HIT-EASY. Dope project. Really dope project. I mean, they're not going to miss the two of them together. Yeah. I mean, uh, I kind of knew that, but... Pink Sweat's joint is, is really dope. Uh, I feel like some other stuff came out. Parks and Passport gift dropped the album. Saw that. Yeah. Y'all put another Congrats. one? Yeah, 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 y'all working, y'all working. Yeah, we working. working. Y'all working. No yep. Hard Films 3? Yep. That boy got to be tired of rhyming. Good. <laughs> he can rap, though. No, he, he can, can rap, rap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when, when are you going to stop? <laughs> That's a lot when of he, albums. When is he going to podcast? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Yeah, we've been working. I didn't think we'd get it done in time, but we did. That's what's up. Yeah, he oh, says that every three. time. Too. <laughs> he says that every time. <laughs> well, moving and all that shit, it was hard. It was hard to get this shit done. But it's out. It'll be on all the DSPs. It's on Bandcamp exclusively for now. Dope. Right. It'll be everywhere, I think, Friday. Go go cop. $10. Hey, go cop. Quick 10. Go get you some. I seen Leave Her as the outro. Yeah. He was, Le- he was, leave Her? Leave he, was, her. He, was, he was giving it to her. He has a little more... Uh, that's that I shit right say there. They can never admit that. Can we just admit that you can't get away from me? No, they won't admit that. <laughs> Who's this? Bellinger. Oh, oh, okay. Hey. That little far right is huh? Hey. And he finally got Roy Controlled I'm gonna, Glory, Gloria Estefan Police I'm gonna play this Because I like it <laughs> Is it a glorious I like it I know yeah, shit. I shouldn't you I don't know. like it? Classic I like it Oh, I'm Well you know Rory Won't let me like album. this 
This shit is it probably on. is the no, best I just, joint. I just on want the you album. to be consistent. That's all. It's probably the best joint album. Hey. Yo, you see what I was on on Valentine's Day. Honestly, tell the truth. Yeah, the world. We saw uh, what happened when, the, when this came through the bowls? <laughs> Bacon and lobster. Yeah, you went to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got some musical pills, pills if you need some. My friends be fronting on what comes through the bowls. Bacon and lobster. <laughs> no, from the bowels. Yeah, nigga Joe was in the yeah, bathroom nah. when this came on. This you definitely got to turn up the music when you this get track gassy. nine, he was definitely in the, on the toilet when this <laughs> came on. What you wanted it. No, you got. Hey, when this little part came on right here. I opened my eyes, looked at her, <laughs> looked at her in the face. So you gonna be breakfast in bed? Huh? So she gonna be breakfast in bed? No. Nah, Another open, meal? I open my. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey! It's all provided by Joe. <laughs> <laughs> What you do when you open your eyes and just look up? Ooh, baby. That's uh, what you say. Just like he did. Oh, oh my. <laughs> That's what you did to the ceiling? It was her. Oh, okay. The mm. ceiling. <laughs> you, think I'm, you think I'm a monster <laughs> alone. <laughs> <laughs> I think I am a monster. No, you said you, you did to the you ceiling. You look up. You say, oh. oh my God, I'm not doing this with more. All right, where are we at? D'Angelo is versus versusing someone. Everyone, we don't, everyone, we don't apparently. know who it is. It's the field. Yeah, yeah. yeah. D'Angelo versus everyone. It's an orgy. D'Angelo versus. Yeah, it's a gangbang. Pat Mahomes. <laughs> <laughs> can he beat him? Who knows, man. Tom Brady can. D'Angelo versus friends. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, loved ones. Our gift to you live from the Apollo Theater in Harlem. Who do you think is pulling up to take on the King February 27th? Sure to be a legendary night. I won't be there. No? Hell no. No, I'm going to watch that. Well, yeah, we can so watch you won't, it. So you won't be there either. Thank you. So what are you knowing me? Oh, you mean not actually? Yeah, yeah. physically. Oh, okay. Are they no. selling no, tickets? I can't, I can't play the keyboard like not, that. Oh, well, we can. Well, New York, you know, February 23rd. Can can indoor dining. Capacity. I'll be home. Apple yeah. TV. So <laughs> I, Some yeah. people can go if they want. Well, are they selling tickets? Or are they just doing it the Apollo? So. I think they're yeah, doing it. I think yeah, everyone's watching think from can, their home. <laughs> unless there's a dining thing, I don't think Who is can. friends? That's what I want to What watch. is this? Like, and I want to know like, does someone come and you, it's one record versus one record, and then we move on to the next friend? That's a good question. Yeah, we got This is one I'm, of those. I'm, I'm, I'm this confused. Could, this could either be really interesting or really bad. Yeah. Who is going to see Music Soul Child? Somebody say his name. Hmm. Yeah, he got records. Shut up, Rory. Okay. D- D'Angelo Mad niggas would say his name Music? I don't know if mad niggas would yeah, say his I, name Yeah, you got music soul child fucked it's, up It's a few, it's a few R&B acts that can be And I'm not versions. saying D'Angelo can Alright, then tell music to say Tyrese's name that Then shut up then That would be a good match Then oh. shut up then it's Niggas that'll say his name Let's go on Patreon tonight <laughs> I will bust your ass as music soul child No you won't Okay No you won't Okay What is he talking about? The Tyrese versus Yo, I let you get off last pod telling me about uh telling Parks and myself what records from volume one didn't sound like bad boy records, even though you were four. I let you get it off. <laughs> I, let, I, I was I, not four let, when that album came I, out. How old were you when Ready to Die came out? <laughs> Seven. Oh, I was, no, I was four when Ready to Die came out. It was four. Oh, okay. I was talking about volume one. I'm talking about the first volume of Ready to right. Die. You was four years old. I let you get your shit off. You're my man. It's cool. But now. You know, you can still listen to Ready I'm not to Die. Let, you didn't I'm, have to be yeah. there in 1994 yes, did, to still Rory. listen to yes, it. Yes, you did. No, but it's available now. I know I know it's crazy to you, but I can listen to it right now. Yeah, but B&E's ain't happening. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yeah, I. Right. B&E's ain't happening today like they was. Yeah, no, niggas definitely not like yeah, that. Yeah, niggas, like it's a were. different energy in the streets. Niggas ain't getting their head bopped off like they was back then. It's just different. Uh, but anyway, listen. We've talked about that on this Music podcast. Music Soul Child is my Hypocrites. man. I've done a record with him that never saw the light of day. That's my guy, guy, and his catalog is ill. He can't fuck with Tyrese. Yes, he can. Tyrese has a lot of records, though. I never said he and, and I get TGT. I get Tyrese and TGT. Okay. Mm, sorry, music. By the time we get into that second 20. The second 20? We're doing 40? Say Joe's name. I mean, second 10. Say Joe's name. Music Soul Child is beating Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on, man. Let's move on, Rory. You got, right. you got your R&B hierarchy a little fucked up. Well, oh, let me not say that because music is subjective. I just disagree. I don't, I don't think he's taking care of Joe or Tyrese. I, but, I didn't say it was going to be a cleanup. Or, or Brian McKnight. 
So who would you like to see in this? Uh, in this, and if he can't, and if he can't beat Tyrese, Joe, and Brian McKnight, then who's left for music to battle? No, don't disrespect music like that. Blah. Don't disrespect music like that. Yeah. See y'all. Fam, the fact that y'all think that Tyrese, Joe, and what was the third one? And Brian music McKnight is in a just, tough spot. Are just cleaning music soul child up. Say, Have y'all ever listened to a music not, soul child yo, that's, song? Yo, that's <laughs> that's what music lovers always do. We yeah. take that cleaning or the washing word yeah, yeah, yeah. and we stay there. Stay here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not, not doing dying, that. I'm not yeah. backing off yeah. that hill. I'm not doing I'm that. I'm just saying I think that those three would win against him. You think, and, you think Brian McKnight is being music soul child? Basically, uh, don't even agree with you. I think <laughs> he's pro- he's probably the one that I have guaranteed in, in the three. If you're asking me, yeah, me I love too. Brian. McGuire, Brian been out since '94. His catalog is way. When I look and when did it end? Your eyes, mm, get into your shit, Joe. <laughs> then I realize mm. all I need is you in my Whoa. life. Listen mm. to that tether. All I need is you <laughs> in my life. Can I request back at one? You're hold a part. <laughs> He hated before the hook come on. Don't don't do that. Get get it. Cause I never felt this way about nothing. Where the keys at? Do 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 do. You're Parks. Listen to that tenor. Listen, smooth. You can you can laugh with Parks. I'll remind Rory that he was two when Martin proposed. Uh, now Brian McKnight is Brian being, came Brian, out Brian came out the bushes and I no, never man. felt I threw this on a on on a mixtape for yeah. sure in, in seventh grade come on Rory <laughs> <laughs> this was my shit and this ain't even probably one of my favorite uh, Brian and records you can get into Brian's Christmas albums yeah. I mean I wouldn't are you allowed to play <laughs> I wouldn't but oh wait Brian was on Let It Snow yeah. You gotta play Let It Snow. Yo, you over. I'm done with you. Brian was on Let It Snow. Can he play Let It Snow in the first Are you fucking kidding me? It's snowing right now. I'm done with it. It don't gotta be Christmas. It don't gotta be Christmas. Wait, Brian was on. I forgot when. uh, See, Brian was out in the era where it was forcing the R&B niggas to make club records. Mm Mm-hmm. So Brian still got our ill announcement. If you don't want to, don't waste her time. Come on, then you can get into that. Yeah, then Brian got joints, man. Anyway, off of this. What oh, were we course, trying course to talk Brian about? McKnight we're talking about versus, the versus friends. Yeah, Fam. we're just naming friends. We're, we're naming the friends. Yeah, Brian McKnight. But I feel Rory because I want music to go against somebody, but he's in a tough spot. There is nobody. He can't go against D'Angelo. He can't go against uh, who no, the thought, newer I niggas. I thought Tyrese Trey and Joe, Joe were good. Do you good think versus. Maxwell shows up for the, the, the D'Angelo battle? No. No? I think that's why it's friends. I think that they approached wow. him with that, and he was like, no, nah, I'm cool. Really? Yeah, Maul's not lying. Yeah. Duck in the we, don't, we, don't have, we don't have to pretend like we, don't have, <laughs> we knew what happened. Yeah, no. He asked Maxwell to do it. They approached Maxwell to do it. And I, right. I believe that. That shit was supposed to happen on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Turn Maxwell duck, dodged the spoke? We don't, I mean, we don't know what happened. He could be one of the friends. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> They're not friends. It's gonna say Max. <laughs> it's gonna say Maxwell name. Up it's so Maxwell many. Shows. It's so many hip hop opinions that we can never give in hip hop. <laughs> like, like, get cute. Cute know the ledge. Cute. Like what? Like what? Yeah. Why yeah. not say him? This is our platform. It. You say it, nigga. You brought it up. Is Maxwell running from D'Angelo? No, I don't, never said he was. Don't running. make. Don't make. I know. Don't make Rory mad because Rory will oh. get mad if we. If we run with this. no Max, no <laughs> absolutely man, not. Man. Max was not. Maxwell no, Max ain't running from nobody. I, don't, oh, I think, I think it's Angelo. Oh my God, too. D'Angelo is our guy. Is Maxwell running from D'Angelo? No, I don't think so. Okay. No. That's a good matchup to me. I just think Maxwell think just matchup. isn't at do you, the versus do, stage of his I career. I don't know. Do, do y'all think? Because I agree with y'all. Do you think Maxwell thinks it's a good matchup? Yes. No. For him? How could he not? No. Mad ways. The same way all of these artists, when somebody tries to punch up, I'm not, and I'm not talking about, I don't know if that's punching up. I'm saying if I'm Maxwell, he probably views that as D'Angelo punching up. That's crazy. No, it's not. D'Angelo no, don't get a it lot of classic records. A, and he wrote a lot of shit. And he was featured on a lot of y'all classic know, Y'all don't have to convince me. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying Maxwell. Word. I, think it's, I think for Maxwell, he probably, just the verse, I, I just don't think he's there yet to mm. sit down and play his catalog across from another artists and try to like make it seem like a but I don't think he's with that I don't mm. think it has anything to do personally with D'Angelo and okay. who wins I'll that if, if if it were to happen Rory uh judging by popular hits I think D'Angelo wins just because more of his records are to the masses more more noticeable if you will I don't think they're popular though 
They're more popular, but I don't think they're popular. D'Angelo doesn't be more Maxwell popular. Albums. Yes. Yeah. No, I don't think either of them really have pop records, but Maxwell has some borderline. Yo, we pop can say it. It's issue. okay. No, D'Angelo doesn't. Yeah, we can love somebody and say. No, it. I love. I love D'Angelo. I think I D'Angelo think wins Maxwell to the masses in the uh, no verses. No, I don't think so. Really? No. I still think it's a great matchup. This woman's worth. I hate when people do that in verses. Just name a crazy. Whenever, record. Like whenever, the other whenever. artists don't have crazy. Well, that's why I don't. Too. What I like to do is give me the guaranteed points from whoever we talking about. And for D'Angelo, for me, lady, brown sugar, maybe cruising. No, one of the cruisings. One of the cruisings. Devil's pie against Maxwell. No, not nothing. E- nothing point. even matters is a guaranteed point. Three. Yes. How does it feel as a guaranteed point? No. What? Not because what if you play this is what I'm saying. Not against Maxwell. Because if, against you, if he plays, plays if he plays a good matchup, untitled anybody verse, else. I'm this not mad at work. I'm not mad at that. But if you play that reg, if D'Angelo plays that and he follows and, that, and one is a cover and one isn't. If we want to get all right, you know what? Let's give it to you, Rory. That's four. That's four, and that's probably the extent of it for. Uh, undeniable points for D'Angelo. Something, something. Maxwell. Come on, man. How does it feel? Wait, and you, did, you said you said brown sugar wasn't point? a guarantee. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Mm, it's all. It's but we, we've learned from this. It's all when, when, and how you That's play true. the record. How so. does it feel as a point, though? It should be. That's a point. <laughs> but if you play this woman's work, Maxwell. I think that's a good matchup. Maxwell. I when, think that could go either way. When Maxwell got into that. Whatever album it was, whatever two years it was where everything is going to be a better Kim record than Kim makes. Like all of those uh, got to get to know you. Uh, y'all know the ones that sound like they should be Kim records, but nah. Put put the shit back up. The Maxwell is because it was a bunch. There, there, hold up. Luxury, uh, uh, luxury, fuck, Coco Hanks Cure. Man. Yeah, that album. <laughs> yeah, no, the that first album. one. Urban Hang Suite is a, a classic classic. Yeah. yeah. I love Embryo. It's going to be tough to deal with. You kind of got to be a weird it's gonna be tough R&B to deal lover with. to really D'Angelo is our man, but it's probably for the best but that you, Maxwell had a gig that night. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. D'Angelo has two two of those, though. Yeah. Two of what? Two of those Urban Hang Suites. Two classics. Yeah. And people like Voodoo Black and Brown Messiah Sugar is, are, are both I was classics. never a Black Messiah fan, but the first two albums are super classic. They're, they're classics. And, no, D'Angelo's that dude. Yeah. Maxwell just has enough classic material on albums that might not be considered classics. Like, Embryo might not be a classic album to, Embryo, the, to the masses. Embryo, to, to me, is. Me, too. That album is incredible. Me, too. I'm just, that's why I said more noticeable records. Like, I don't know how much he can play off Embryo that is going to hit to a versus crowd. Mm-hmm. To me, that shit will hit. And, it's, and hold on, we, not, we just skipping over Black Summer Night? That's Fair. a great, great yeah. album. A, love yeah, Pretty Wings is a summer. Summer. Pretty Wings point. Just skipping over Black that's Summer's Night like it wasn't some shit on that. Uh, this is a, I don't know why we're trying to debate like this isn't yeah. a good battle. That album is phenomenal. <laughs> I'm with you. It's a think, great battle. I, I, just think that, I just think that Maxwell is just not with doing that yet. He's not with the whole versus thing yet. I don't think he's with that. I'm hitting a round of applause for Michael B. Jordan. Okay. Is, is this an apology? That was, or, or are we just clapping our hands? It was a two-for-one shot. You shot it with 36 seconds left on the clock. Okay. There's a few men that I just want to honor right now during Black History Month. Is it because last lap reopened? <laughs> I would never know that. I'm not on their email list. <laughs> <laughs> I can add you. Please don't. <laughs> no, I'll text. My bad. Um, I'll have them text you. Mike's going to keep you right there, though. He got off that fast. Put the screen back. This <laughs> <laughs> nigga. The fucking guy. Yo. Who was I just talking about? Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan, man. Listen. I'll be the first one to say it. Well, no. A few other people have said it. I'll be the fourth one to say it. Do I believe any of this? (laughs) Not a shot in hell. Believe what? (laughs) Nothing. I don't believe not none of it. None of it. None of it. Do, do I care? Don't. Yeah, That's don't, the answer. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Because don't stop me there because it doesn't matter that I don't believe it. I don't know what you're I, talking about. I haven't about. thought into it. I don't believe that this is a thing. Oh, who cares? Nobody cares. Well, I have to care because of how I analyze things. And Lori's just been too much of a G for me to believe that now you're just on this promo run. 
I don't believe that. You just did a promo run this weekend. I have done <laughs> promo runs throughout my career. Lori Harvey has always been more gangster than I. <laughs> so I'm judging. I'm judging her she the real by, again? by her gangster, not mine. So I she don't think any of this is real. I also don't think any of that matters. This is the best faking I have ever seen go on. <laughs> they How do you have. Know? I don't know. Can y'all stop trying to corner Joe into a corner and just let me finish my point and then you guys can add a point. I don't know that this is fake. I think it's fake and I support it. It is the best faking I've seen. Hermes stock? You got me some Hermes stock at an aquarium (laughs) so I can look at turtles and my favorite animal is a turtle and my pet name is Turtle? She was on Entourage? Mm-hmm. Man, stop the tape. Hold up. Wait. Stop the tape. Mm-hmm. How much dough can it... What was the line? Y'all don't know that I don't know. I was, I was four That's years the old. only whole song y'all don't know. The one that he did with Puff that only I love that was on the Forever album. Oh, what? No. Nobody loves that song. Wait, bring Nobody the, even knows bringing the uh, bricks through BMI? Listen. That's that shit. Um, I'm in support of this fake shit. I'm <laughs> highlighting this man as a great black. This is a great black man to fake this good i support it and i hope it lasts <laughs> all right i respect that give him his flowers give him his flowers on Valentine's yeah no nah, he's getting flowers from me he's yeah. killing this shit he's killing this shit whatever the point of this is it's working on joe i'm su- i support this black man appreciation number one number two and some more shit that joe shouldn't be talking about at all but i have to because nobody else will nick cannon What stocks he bought? Don't put nothing on the screen. You always putting something on the screen. <laughs> like his, he's like his job, that. baby. <laughs> That's the fuck his problem is, Maul. Yeah, always putting some shit on the screen to help you. us fucking yeah, articulate That's crazy for shit. screen man to do that. Don't do that again. Right. <laughs> Nick Cannon. Anybody? Nobody wants to talk I about I see what happened. Of course you didn't. Happened right underneath your fucking nose. <laughs> it happened right underneath your... What kind your... of stocks he bought? It was right here at Parks the whole time. You ain't even see it. So let me give it to you a little dose. Just here. And I'm not expounding on it. I'm telling you what happened, and I'm moving on, because men can't pay attention to the stuff. Mm-hmm. We're not supposed to be messy or gossipy or chitty-chatty, but I'm just... This is fly shit. I followed a young <laughs> lady many years ago. Sure, mm-hmm. sure. No, this was many years ago. I follow, you know, you follow somebody and you don't know who they who they with. Sure. Yeah. Like, listen, we just had boyfriend reveals. We don't know who's with who. So I right. followed this young lady. Oh, Nick got revealed? I followed her. Let me tell this whole story and oh, then you okay. can give me everything. Gotcha. I want to give it to you straight. I follow a young lady who was with Nick. And I didn't know, unbeknownst to me. And then there was another lady that while these two were together, kept saying, yo, <laughs> that's my man. And Nick was so ill that the person I follow said, no, it ain't. <laughs> it's our man. <laughs> it's my man and your man. I support him. I'm not leaving him. You shut up, mm-hmm. bitch. She didn't say that, of course. Mm-hmm. But, okay. So I'm just watching, quiet. Then the person I follow popped up and said, I can no longer do this. Understandable. Mm-hmm. Happens to the best of us men. Sure. Mm-hmm. So she left. And now there was the girl. Right? The new girl. Uh And the new girl was pregnant. The new girl got pregnant. Mm. So that's understandable. You get somebody pregnant, you leave the old girl. But while the new girl was pregnant and the Nick got sick, another girl posted a tattoo and said that she helped him through COVID and she healed him. And Mm. all this is happening at the same time. Cut that COVID Nobody on the internet said, has said one word. And just when I thought I couldn't get crazier, right? Because that was just two weeks ago. Right. That was Nick's tattoo, sick. She loved him. They always give like the illest diatribe ever. He's the illest Nick in the world. And I'm jealous. And then somebody else popped up pregnant with twins. Listen, man, it takes a village. Two weeks later. It takes a village. So he lost the original girl that I followed, mm-hmm. but gained... Two baby moms and COVID bay mm-hmm. 
in the process. And no one has uttered a word about it. Allegedly. This nigga just still doing pull-ups in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> He's still yeah. fucking doing the dips like this. this. Life. That's life for him. This is life. He yeah. out there still promoting shows. Yeah, this is life. Yeah. That ain't, this, ain't, this ain't heavy for Nick. Fam, if this guy is not... He's still doing... What's the uh, thing he does at Harvard? Uh, Nick's Black Teachings. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the, I think that's the title. Joe. Oh, yeah. Black teachings. Yeah, I like come that. on, man. Like Y'all that. know you're doing I like Nick's, Nick's black, Nick's teaching. black <laughs> teachings. Yeah, I that's like good that. branding. Yeah, come like on, that. man. Yeah, yeah, Clever. Yeah. If this is not the illest guy in the world, I ain't even said a mention of Mariah. Yeah, I haven't said nothing about Mariah nah, Carey. Why would you? When there's a caveat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man. That's all it's, I got, man. We gave Nick his flowers a long time ago, though. I know, but Nick, Nick been we, but we gave it to him like he was Jeter walking away from the game. He's still in it. Still active. No, he's still winning. Yeah. <laughs> it's still his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You still got to beat him. He's back to cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's back up to bat again. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got to be stopped. They took wilding out for him, and he's still wilding out. Yeah, he's still wilding out. <laughs> they yeah. can't stop him from wilding out. No, 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 no. It's Fuck deeper you than thought. That. It's deeper than just a show. Oh, can it's you see real it? life. It's real life. <laughs> nigga was wilding out without Hitman hollering them. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. So Pull that's out it. for what? Michael B. Jordan, Nick Cannon, those are my two honorary black okay. kings Respect for Black History them. Month, Respect man. Respect those, to the legends. Those are guys. Oh, and, and Davis Chappelle. Oh, why not? Davis. This, 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 I don't know who Davis this is. This dropped the night we recorded. Redemption song. I told y'all this was happening months ago, man. Yeah, I'm glad it did, though. True. And I, I like what Dave said. And he said, you know, the dude up at um, Netflix is younger than he is. So it could have went bad. It could have been a standoff where it was like, no, we're not paying you. We're not doing that. Uh-huh. And he, he said it wasn't no problem at all. No, he, no, didn't. he, he said, didn't say he the said, dude at Netflix. Hold up, because I want to highlight what that. Dude at Nef- he said the dude at Viacom. Okay, got you. Chris McCarthy. Yeah, comedy And Central. I want to highlight that because it's super important. Mm-hmm. When I did my Love and Hip Hop deal in 2011 and 12, mm-hmm. with absolutely no leverage, it was the most fucked up contract in the universe, and... According to Viacom, it was all standard. Corey wasn't powerful enough to fight him, and neither was I. We just signed it, and we were in a fuckity fuck, 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 fuck deal. Right? Sure. When they double back in 2017 or whatever year that is, they say, hey, we need you to do this show. And I said, you got to be out your rabbit ass mind to think y'all are approaching me this way. Mm -hmm. So much would have to be different. For this to occur, I don't fuck with y'all. I don't fuck with y'all did last time. I don't care what the standard is. I was riffing, 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 but I was riffing to a new man. It was Chris McCarthy. Okay, got you. Who wasn't there. Mm. And now he's a black guy at the head of Viacom, and he realized that a lot of mistakes were made, and he wants to write them. Hmm. Perfect. That's what you need to get it done. And he got it done. Everything I asked, everything I requested, it didn't matter what the standards were, what happened last time, who was there before, none of it mattered. He got it done. Mm. So that's who he's big up in, more. And Dope. that's what he's saying, hey, this guy's younger than me. So he wasn't there for some of the fucked up shit. He fixed it. And that's mm-hmm. the same way I felt when he fixed some of that shit going on. So I just want to shout out to Chris. He was alluding that, luckily, that he was younger. Because mm-hmm. he's part of the generation that's trying to change things, right. rather than yeah. the older mm-hmm. people yep. that are want to do the standard contract that they that was a have point. lived and died. I, by. I, I, I like the fact that he highlighted that. Mm. That was really that was really powerful for Dave Chappelle to, to highlight that. You better believe it. You better believe it. Let me see. I asked you to stop watching the show. Thank God Almighty for you. You did. Uh you pardon me. You made that show worthless because without your eyes, it's nothing. Mm-hmm. And when you stopped watching it, they called me. I got my name back, I got my license back, and I got my show back. And they paid me millions of dollars. Thank you very much. If that's not showing a blueprint of how things could and should be done, if you have enough leverage and you work hard enough, and you walk away from the fifty mil and you wait however many years to get your your just due, mm-hmm. then what else will? Like we in the era, we we in the day and age where you watching creators move around and do shit. Everybody's doing something different to monetize properly. Mm-hmm. So there's, there's enough blueprints for you is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like you could do it this way. You could do it that way. You could do it this way. There's mad different ways to do it as long as you do it. I ain't talking to creators. and There's just so many excuses now about why you can't pod, why you can't make a song, why you can't get to the studio, why the video's not shot, why the, the song ain't on the radio, why your crew ain't, why the shows, why the tour, why this nigga excuses or results. Mm-hmm. Like this was so powerful. Yeah, because works. you need hope. You need you need there needs to be an example that if done the right way, 
things can be done the right way. And we don't have enough of those. Shout out to David Chappelle. Shout out to Netflix. I can't wait to see what the new show looks like. Yeah. I thought that it was obvious when this rant started that Netflix was coming back with the Chappelle show. I'm, yeah. I'm glad that it's happening. And I can't wait to see it. Same. No, Ch- Chappelle is my favorite entertainer story, I think, ever. Yeah. Uh, to go through what he went through, I, I think his, his production company was Pilot Boy because he had done a thousand pilots mm-hmm. and they never got picked up. Like mm-hmm. Chappelle didn't make it, quote unquote, make Chappelle show was when he was like, what, 33 yeah. maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah, we know crazy. Chappelle to start comedy when he was fucking 15. Right. Mm-hmm. So he went ups and downs, caught a lick here and there, shot a movie that's now a cult classic, but bombed at the box office. Like half baked mm-hmm. was trash yeah. when it came out. Yeah. Right. It's a cult classic. Now went on, created the greatest sketch show ever for two seasons. Mm got to what he thought he wanted to get to, finally got it, said, I'm not doing this shit. I don't care if you're about to offer me this much money. Disappeared, got called a fucking crackhead, came back on his terms with his friends, took back all the bullshit from the Chappelle show that made him leave when he was at the quote-unquote height. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. It's the greatest entertainer story. I like, I like the fact that, um, you know, again, it just shows once the audience, once the people decide to come together on something for a cause the type of change that it can manifest. And that was important, you know, that when he asked us to not stream it, not watch it, not click on it, that the fans did. They and it worked. Were, and it worked. It worked. We stopped. We stopped. We didn't watch it. We didn't support it on that platform. And ultimately, the creator and the guy that we love got what he wanted and got what he deserved. So Came, came back on his terms, turned down that $50 million in 04. Right. Got it 10 times over, moved to Ohio. <laughs> like, this is the greatest story of doing shit on your own terms when you know you're correct no matter how long it takes legend legendary you know i don't think it gets much better than this type of story from his era i think it'll get easier because of him and the bullshit he had to go through i like to see the success story of someone that's still very young yeah. and has mad career ahead of him yeah mm-hmm. thanks Chappelle. thank you yeah, Pre- appreciate real. you legend genius all of that more unfortunate news to get to <sighs> yeah very much so. Robert Mirage, father of Nicki Minaj, is killed in hit and run. He died at hospital on Saturday after being struck on Friday evening in Mineola, New York, on Long Island, authorities said. This was just a really sad story to hear over the weekend. Tragic. Yeah. Absolutely. Super tragic. Praying for praying for Nick. Whole family. Whole family word. Yeah, this is our. And they, they still don't have no suspects? Because it's a hit and run, obviously. At the time I read it, they didn't have any, no. Yeah, that's sad. This ruins Valentine's Day forever for them, or, for a family. Yeah, life yeah. is for them now. It's, 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 it's now completely changed. It's now always a reminder of tragedy. Mm-hmm. So, boy, is that sad. The Nassau Police Department said it's homicide squad. Was in the, well, they should have cameras. They caught something. I'm sure yeah, something. I'm, I'm maybe, sure we'll, yeah. yeah. Sometimes in those smaller, I, mean, I don't know how big Mineola is, but it's not like New York City where there's cameras everywhere. But a lot of... Uh, Something I've been noticing, a lot of crimes and stuff that's happening in neighborhoods like like that, especially hit and runs, a lot of people have uh, ring cameras on their doors. Yeah. And that's how they're finding cars speeding through the block. Mm. You know, so yeah. hopefully they, you know, somebody comes forward and yeah. or somebody is uh, apprehended for this because this is tragedy. A family. Them, just because them. of her notoriety, they reported on it right away. I'm, I'm sure there's some investigation oh, no, where, for, where there is hopefully some some cameras around. Absolutely. But they reported right away, obviously, because Nikki is so famous. But Those ring cameras need better resolution. Uh, I know they're good for when the <clears throat> block is small or when the street is small. But right. I know one person is right up on the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like when, they, when they stole my car out the shit, like the cops were searching the neighbor's ring, ring lights and shit. It's too far to get anything. Mm-hmm. Like the resolution is not the greatest, um, but prayers to uh, Nicki Minaj, her entire family. Really, really unfortunate news this uh, this past weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, more unfortunate news. When I saw this post, I didn't take the time to read it because I thought this was an anniversary post mm. of something that happened. Of something that happened, a car accident <laughs> that Sahai got in. But I read it today and. This is just scary to read. Today, uh, Sahai says, Today is a day about love, but in my city, the city of Atlanta, there's no love here anymore. A couple nights ago, there was an attempt on my life. Someone tried to gun me down on the highway. I tried everything I could to lose them, but they were adamant about taking me off this earth. They were shooting at me while I was driving, and even after my car flipped, hit a pole, and crashed into a tree, they came back and shot the car up some more. 
At this point, I don't know if it was a mistaken identity, a robbery, or associated with 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 something that I hadn't. Uh, wait, I'm skipping lines. At this point, I don't know if it was a mistaken identity, a robbery, or associated with something that I did when I was younger, but I haven't been in the streets in over a decade. See, that's the real scary part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just want to know why. Look at that. That, that next line. You never hear it. I love sign. I just want to know why and if there's anything I can do to fix the issue. I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, and I have tremendous love for my city, but it's chaotic out here. I'm trying my best to keep a level head, but when you don't know who is after you, it's hard to wrap your mind around it and not be, and not be paranoid. By the grace of God, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I'm still here. I just want to let the people know who were trying to kill me that I'm not a bad person. I don't want revenge. I just want understanding and closure. Mm. So everyone that's in Atlanta right now, please protect yourself. Stay out of the way and be careful because it could all be over in a split second. I understand there's a lot of beef going on in my city between different crews, crews that is fueled by the music. Can you scroll screaming? I can read faster than that. But it is time that we all have a sit down and have a peace meeting. There are too, there are too many lives being lost over music. I know I'm not the king of my city or anything, but the real leaders, I won't say no names, but you guys know who you are. You all are extremely blessed to have the careers that you have uh, that you have and to be able to feed your family and loved ones. It's time to stop the violence in Atlanta. I don't have all the answers and I definitely don't have the power to make it stop. But I do feel like somebody got to step up and say something. So much uh, so much love to every artist, label, hustler and crew in my city. Please, let's resolve our problems, man. We don't have to kill each other. Uh, shaking my head. Thanks again, Atlanta. I wrote this letter to y'all with tears in my eyes. Really man. glad he's OK. Word. Yeah, I, I read That's, that, man. And, I, you know, uh, these pictures were That's terrifying. Insane, and and to know that bullets were involved along with this car crash makes it Word. even crazier to escape both of those things. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad Sahai is blessed in that capacity. Yeah, this was uh, this was one of the one of those moments you read something like this and you see these pictures, and then you know a guy like Sahai he doesn't really put that type of energy out there like that violent, yeah, uh, aggressive energy. So for him to post something like this and have having dealt with something like this. And then, you know, the words he was using, like, I just want to understand and I don't want revenge. I just want to know, like, why were y'all after me? You know that me? feeling, yeah. yeah. That's, that's deep. Like, you just want to know, like, why was y'all shooting at me? Why were y'all mm -hmm. trying to kill? Like, what did I do? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I... It, I have this conversation with people from Atlanta all the time. I feel a way about living anywhere where it's open carry. That's me. Maybe that's because I've been in New York, <clears> from <throat> New York... I just view situations differently when all of us here are allowed to show our guns. <laughs> mm -hmm. For me, yes, I don't put this energy out there. Mm -hmm. But it's about four different times where he speaks about the violence that's just been in the city having nothing to do with him. Right. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there clearly is an energy that I'm hearing a few different people from Atlanta speak about. Um. And that's Atlanta's business, so I mean, I don't really know what to say about it, but mm -hmm. when you read these words from an artist that we love like Sahai, it helps to put things into perspective. When you look at some of the murders that we've seen, when you just hear some of the people that we fuck with from Atlanta talk about the energy out there right now, listen, I know Atlanta's open. I know I know it's chicks out there, niggas is going out there to get mixy, the, the hookah lounge, I understand that, but you gotta understand a few other things as well. And... And that's all I'll say to that. This guy's Bentley looks fucked up. And it has to be nothing scarier than somebody shooting at you on the road. Word. Yeah. In a car. Yeah. Whether while after, you parked or moving, you flip over and they're still trying to shoot at you. Yeah, that sounds like a hit. Yeah, it's not a ride. I can understand where his paranoia comes from. Absolutely. Yeah, I need to know. Oh, so yeah. I know if I could even go back outside, period. Word. And can I squash it? Can I piece it up? Can I let you know that the nigga you might be looking for is not me? Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. But that's why I said his words was, you know, it just hit different because he, it wasn't a, a revengeful tone. He was really like, "Fam, what? Why? Like, why are y'all talking to me?" Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to know, understand what's going on. Like, I want to let's squash it, let's talk about it. He's not talking from a revenge standpoint. He's no. literally like, "Fam, why were y'all trying to kill me? Like, I'm not even in the streets. Like, been minding right. my business." As yeah. someone that loves hip hop, this has to this has to put you at a fork in the road. This has to conflict you. Like, we love this shit, so we in it, and we understand things that shouldn't be understandable. 
mm-hmm. because we're in it and our love for it. But when you read stories like this, when you look at pictures like this, when you just witness some of the shit that we've witnessed in the last year and change in hip hop, it'll challenge you. It'll ch- it'll challenge it'll challenge you and your moral compass. I'll say that. Yeah. And as I and as I age and get older, I find that happening a lot. Actually, over the news just this week. Y'all know I'm mental health, man. It ain't too many ain't too many guys that are more willing to die on the mental health hill than me. And on the news, they're talking about 21. It was stabbings in New York. Stabbings. There's a dude running around stabbing people on a train station. Oh, yeah. A, a train that. specifically. Yeah. Yeah, man. Can you imagine? Now, I don't ride the train. But imagine just being on a train sleep because that's what we used to do on a train sleep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And somebody just come up to you and start stabbing you. Two of those people lost their lives. Yeah. Two people died. A third was rushed somewhere. They found the guy. It's a 21-year-old kid. My heart wept. Damn near cry watching the news. 21 years old. Running around. This is what you're doing. Takes me to mental health. Now what side of the fence are we falling on? Are you mental health man or are you, hey, people shouldn't stab people on the train? It's okay to be both. <laughs> yeah, it's okay to try to tackle mental health before it gets to this. Point. No, it's not. That's not the country we, we live in. We, oh, we're, oh, not, I agree. We're, we're not able we're not able to compartmentalize our compassion. Mm. Like nobody's running around saying R. Kelly's a victim too. That's not that's not where we are. <laughs> no, I'm saying that if we did focus on it, we could maybe get to him before this event happens. They said the guy was homeless. Got me to thinking about all the mental health uh, people that could be homeless uh-huh. that are just doing whatever they need to do, going through whatever they need to, whatever they're going through, Survival. trying to survive Survival. on the street. Uh, that's something that hasn't changed. As I watch these docs from the 70s and 80s when they, they're turning hotels into residential Did you watch the spaces Cecil, Cecil or, Hotel thing? Going to get yeah, into that next Netflix? Yes. Yeah, I watched, I, it. I watched it as well. Yeah, actually, in there they did it. In the Reagan shit, in the Reagan doc, they were clearing shit out for the homeless to live residentially somewhere. Actually, I've seen that in a lot of docs. I didn't know that that was such a common thing. Me either. Uh, but it's here. So that that... Really, really, really saddened me. I was happy that they caught the guy and got him off the street, but it led me to just down the long road of either homeless people that have killed or have been killed at the hands of mental health and our country not really paying enough attention or doing enough about it. Mm -hmm. So they're going to throw this kid in jail, and that's going to be it. It's not going to be rehabilitation. Right. It's not going to be. Nobody's paying money for you to go to a therapist or a psychologist or to put you where you need to be. Right. Cool, right? Moving on, no. Moving on, because we get conflicted about things. And I'm going to talk about this again, because none of y'all are. But it's important, and I'm not going to expound too much. Transgenders. Transgenders on Instagram. I'm having this conversation because it's an important conversation that, that should be had in hip hop. Same way I was split between the mental health shit and the, we all, listen, I know where everybody's hearts lie in this room. So mm-hmm. I know that we all cool with everybody identifying with and however they need to identify, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But in this Instagram era, y'all know what's going on in the DMs. We meeting up, we linking, we doing X, Y, Z, so forth and so on, mm-hmm. right? That's happening. There's a culture of that happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's also a culture of transgenders doing that. Yeah. I'm sure. On Instagram, I wasn't sure. I didn't know. It's not my world. I don't pay attention to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, this isn't a joke that became a joke. When it, hits, it happened to Young when, Buck. When it hits my radar, again, remember in the stock shit, I was like, I love when the information trickles down and hits people that shouldn't know about it. Mm-hmm. Same thing here. I, I don't have any business knowing about any transgender stuff at all. But in hip hop, this could get dangerous real fast. My conversation I had with, uh, I think that was Carmen on Couples Therapy. We were in a pool and she was talking about, hey, I like, that's my right to share something or not share it. Eh, that's where it gets tricky. That's where a fork, yeah. that's where it's a fork in the road. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm talking about people that have gotten the surgery. Right. So you're not going to know. Right. It's no dick, mm-hmm. it's no nothing. Mm-hmm. But there are straight men in hip hop that are actively sleeping with people. Without all the information. Straight men, period. It doesn't have to be a hip-hop thing. Yeah. True. Yeah, I remember back in my uh, dating yeah. app uh, era, 
it was very common to like come across a beautiful person that you swiped right on. Now you're having a conversation. You find out later that they're trans, and you're like, "Oh, well, I'm not. That's not my thing." No mm-hmm. disrespect. Right. Listen, Car- Carmen was beautiful on the couples therapy show. Yeah, uh, a few She's years beautiful. ago. A few years ago on Twitter, I forgot her name, but it was a famous transgender. She was beautiful too. I, I remember that picture. Yeah, that was, picture circulating. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, a be beautiful, and I'm not having this conversation for the people that are pansexual. Uh, homosexual or attracted to that, whatever, attracted to them, not that, because this is sensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not talking about y'all. But boy, it's going to be bad when some of these niggas start finding shit out as we moving and stepping. Mm-hmm. That's okay. all I'm going to say because it's not my place, uh-huh. but it is happening. Yeah. It's, I'm saying it's, this it's, to the women too. Hold up, Rory. Let me say this to the women too. Because women are traveling with women knowing things about the women and not dis- divulging that in your circles. Mm-hmm. It could get bad. You could potentially get someone killed or hurt or kidnapped or, or something. Embarrassed or any any number of things. Well, yeah. that's that's where the violence comes because I just want the, people to be careful. The man is embarrassed. Joe right. loves all. Joe has love for all. And it's just not good to play with people's reality like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you, you should tell somebody that you should give them that because you don't know if you know they don't, they don't subscribe to that. If I had surgery, I wouldn't tell somebody either. Probably. Why not though? I, I, I just think it's a safety I was, thing. I, to I, some I might, I, I might feel like it's none of someone's business. I might feel like that. I I'm think saying. if you're sleeping with somebody, you should definitely give them information about what your natural gender well, is. People, why? I'm not okay. asking that. No, I'm just saying. I think that's. I'm the saying least when I've had this conversation with trans, at least know with who they trans trans people, with. they say, "Well, why do I need to do that?" Yeah, absolutely. I disagree. With I just that. think it's a straight absolutely. up safety. I mean, not I disagree. I don't. I'm, I don't have the space to disagree. But what I'm saying is, straight <laughs> people sleep with each other all the time without divulging certain shit about their sexual history, their fucking no, S- because, STDs. No, no, no. But they should. They should. They should give that information as well. So if I'm transgender, I mean, and I and I view it that way, then what is the difference? I'm not. I'm not having that argument with you guys. I'm just saying no, I understand, understand how someone could be like, no, I'm not telling. I'm not, not saying. I'm not saying they have to announce it to the world and put it on their Instagram and all of that. But if you're now being in intimate settings with somebody one on one, you should absolutely give that person that information. Yeah. I'm not saying you have to run around and tell the world and yeah, I'm trans. I'm you, 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 you're able to. I mean, be who you are. Be proud of who you are. I'm not. I'm. I'm definitely a fan of that. But. When you talk about getting intimate with somebody now, you should absolutely give them that information. Like, hey, listen, I understand we vibe and we feeling each other. I just think I should let you know that I was born, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just think you should tell that person that. I think that person has that right to know that. I think they do. I don't even know what's a right. Again, I just I think, think I know might, the real world. Call you a liar. I, I just know the real world and how men may react, and that woman or man could be harmed. Yeah, but now imagine if you go ahead, go forward. And I'm not saying sex. that's right. I just live in the real world. And you're I talking think. about before. You talking about speaking before sex? Yes. I'm saying. Um, so Matt, you saying somebody would be mad before even having sex with this person? So I imagine now that. if you don't oh, tell this person this they information, could, they could be really, really upset. This is all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, I, just I, tell. Just, listen, just, I live in the real world. That's all I'm saying, and it's a safety thing for transgender people to me to not tell. The, no, they that it should be absolutely. brought up. Before sex, have the conversation for a safety reason because I, I'm with you. men and people, period, are fucking nuts. And it's just not good and to it play with be somebody's harmful. reality like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? If somebody's heterosexual and they feel like they're laying down with uh, the person of an opposite sex, mm. now when you're trans, you identify as that. But mm. we're talking about what your original birth gender is. Mm. I think people should, you should tell people that information. I agree. I right, listen. I wish the whole world would just accept everyone for who they are, but I'm living Absolutely. the real world. That, that's why. That's another <laughs> I just, reason I know why the real world. You should tell because it's like be who you are. Like, I didn't mean to take us down this very serious trip. I don't even think we're the pod that should discuss it. No, but we're men, and we can come into. But I these thought situations. it needed to be discussed. Yeah. Huh? There was too many people saying too many things from different places. Right. That's okay. it. That's it. Yeah, but no, that's why I said it. You should absolutely please have just that be careful, especially if you're in an yep. intimate one-on-one type of setting or vibe with this person. Around. And everybody, and this is not just a transgender conversation. During these intimate link-ups, we should all be careful. 
Absolutely. We're showing our addresses, getting with strangers, letting strangers in our house or going to their houses, not knowing if people are certifiably nuts and psycho, mm -hmm. not knowing if people are obsessive, have abandonment issues, if people have nothing better to do than ruin your life for the next few years. Like, we don't know nothing about nothing. Mm -hmm. And we just out here. So I want to encourage everybody to just, you know what I mean, move right. Move right yeah. out there. That's all. Sorry, guys. No, no agreed. And even when we cool. brought up straight people not saying their sexual history, STD, last time you got checked, all that, yeah, you should. <laughs> Yeah, it's Absolutely not a transgender thing. Yeah, yeah, it's I've, just I've, a uh, everyone fucking thing. I've heard, yeah, I've heard stories of people, you know, going to a girl's house and uh, finding out after intercourse that they had herpes or something, and it's like that's crazy to not divulge that information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, very much so. And with that said, we finally got a Justin Timberlake apology. No, not for man in the woods. Not for man in the apologize woods. For that art? Not, not, not at all. He apologized for... They was on his ass. They you was on his you ass. You said you didn't see the Britney doc, right? No. You should watch it. Uh, what network? Uh, Hulu. It's a New York Times... Hey, Hulu. Y'all haven't even opened Hulu. No, I got some shit on there. They do. And I saw great reviews to the, the Britney doc. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I gotta watch that. Actually, matter of fact, I might do that tonight. I think it's only an hour, so it's not like a, a long watch. Got you. HBO's back with some Woody Allen shit. Creeper. Four-part doc. I'm oh, wow. I'm hyped. We'll get and, to TV after this. this and apology. while we're on, will we? There's no TV. Oh, yeah, there's TV to get to. Your Honor. All right, apology. I've, yeah, I'm not reading this shit. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm Why not? not? Doing, I'm not doing that. You read it. That's your guy. You read it. All right. I've seen the messages, tags, comments, and Stop concerns. Right I was going to say, <laughs> just that first sentence is hilarious. What? Come on, Mom. He's telling you what he saw. Mom, tell the truth. And me. I want to respond. I am deeply sorry for oh, the times you? in my life when my actions contributed to the problem where I spoke out of turn or did not speak up for what was right. I understand that I fell short in these moments and in many others and benefited from a system that condones misogyny and racism. I specifically want to apologize to Britney Spears and Janet Jackson, both individually, because I care for and respect these women and I know I failed. I also feel compelled to respond in part because everyone involved deserves better and most importantly because this is a larger conversation that I wholeheartedly want to be part of and grow from. The industry is flawed. It sets men, especially white men, up for success. It's designed this way. As a man in a privileged position, I have to be vocal about this. Because of my ignorance, I didn't recognize it for all that it was while it was happening in my own life, but I do not want to ever, to ever benefit from others being pulled down again. I have not been perfect in navigating all of this throughout my career. I know this apology is a first step and doesn't absolve the past. I want to take accountability for my own missteps in all of this as well as be part of a world that uplifts and supports. I care deeply about the well-being of the people I love and have loved. I can do better and I will do better. Signed sincerely, man in the woods. <laughs> Signed, sealed, delivered. He's yours. I'm writing this from the woods. So, so what you say, Corey? That's a white privilege at its best? Well, yeah, he he, he kind of alluded to that. He understands the white privilege in America. Did he understand it the last 12 years? Right. Uh, or, yeah, he did. Or was this a new epiphany that him and the Beebs had? No, he did. And, and then this, I'm pretty sure there's an album coming soon. Yeah. He's fucking he was getting some heat from the Britney doc, I'm sure. Yeah. And every every Super Bowl, yeah. he gets heat. These white, yeah. these white Justins. I have not heard a Bieber song the same since. <laughs> yeah. I haven't heard a Bieber song since, so. He ain't put out heat like he did with uh, All I Wanted You and all that, but still. Does he go crazy in the Britney doc or something, Parks? Uh, it's, it really just kind of tells the story of her, the way that the world kind of treated her. Mm -hmm. okay. And he was kind of a piece of shit at the time. Like she was publicly saying, hey, protect my virginity or whatever. And then he goes on a radio show like, yeah, I beat. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't edit my laugh. The way you said it. White privilege. White, white privilege. Well, fam, we're not doing that. Yeah. We're not white editing privilege. your laugh. That's not white, where we are. White privilege. Yeah, beat. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you hear this guy? That's what he said. I mean, but you know, he was young. To be to be fair, yeah, he was young. He yeah. was he was a young man. But I mean, I like I like Justin. I can't I can't say nothing bad about him. That album was terrible, but yeah, I like him. I do too. And I gotta watch that doc now that y'all say this is all connected. Yeah. I'm so glad I don't I separate the music from the people. Like I got mirrors already. Mm -hmm. I got bye bye bye. Mm -hmm. I got gone. 
I'm cool. I got. Do you, do, you um, do that? Now? I got suit and tie. Yeah, but unless I mean, unless you what do, you do some now? real do piece of shit. I feel like things. we've had that conversation. Yeah. We talked about Tom Brady. I'm not on, and I don't separate artists. Yeah, me, that, me too. That you, that that we've talked about Tom Brady and music artists as well. Where you said you you couldn't disconnect the artist from the person or the athlete from the person. Oh, that's not the point I'm making here. That's true. Okay. That's true. Because I yeah, feel I'm, like you've I'm, said that. I'm saying like. Once I get the music from you, <laughs> then I'm cool. What if you drop some fire tomorrow? Yeah. Now that you oh, have more information yeah. about it. That'll be different. I don't know. And I got to say that, like, I know it's 12 years too late, but at least it's something. Yeah. And then, again, I don't, he didn't, he didn't do anything. Thanks, Parks. I think what? that that was, that was incredibly insane. Like, he didn't do no wild. Should he have gone on radio and said he had sex with Britney when she told him not to, like, put that information out there? No. Should, shouldn't have done that. But he was young. He was, what were they, like 19 at the time? They were teenagers. Yeah, yeah. something or like that. Early so, 20s, maybe. He left niggas out too dry. You can understand I'm not, that. I'm not rolling. But like somebody not, like, I'm dude. Not what you're saying. Maul come in here and be the, yeah. friend, be the main He's person. He's canceled forever. He's our spokesperson when it comes to protect women. Maul. Mm-hmm. About what? Not, not letting him get that off with this guy who failed to do so for 12 years and just recently said, oh, I see the message. Man, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Yeah, but no, but that, like, fuck but him. that wasn't, that fuck wasn't, him. this isn't something I don't that's care like. about just celebrity relationships. No, it's not about care. that. This isn't I'm something cool. that's like. That's just shit He didn't do shit. no wild, crazy shit, really, though. Okay. Like, he's, he's, he said I'm that he was having to. sex with his girlfriend when maybe she didn't want that to be out there. Well, that's, that's what I was asking because I I don't really remember the Britney. I remember they yeah, were yeah. dating. I don't remember what happened bad. I wasn't yeah. paying attention to that. Of course, I remember the Janet thing. That's what I'm saying. What happened in the doc? I'll have to watch it. They obviously don't go. I don't know Janet how toxic thing, their relationship was. I, I didn't pay attention. No, it to wasn't it. that crazy. It wasn't that crazy. Honestly, well, that's what I'm saying. I don't yeah. remember it being that crazy. I'm have to yeah. watch the doc to get more, I guess, behind the scenes well, details the, about their relationship. But the, I guess the thing with the Britney thing is that it's may or may not have led to the spiral. That led to Britney's whole life being controlled by her father, who was never around when she was a kid, and mm-hmm. she can't get gotcha. out of her. Uh, what do they call that shit? Conservative, sh- conservative ship. Mm-hmm. Where like other people are basically running mm-hmm. her life because they said she was crazy. Because right, the Janet shit. They both plant. <laughs> they both were a part of the co- coordinating it. That was gonna be my next thing. And then it happened, and she got banned and put under all the scrutiny in the world for the next however many years, and he went on to continue his career and uh, performed the Super Bowl, even. <laughs> okay. So. If it's cool with you, it's cool with me. Don't worry so about it. So he's canceled for that? I'm not telling you to cancel. I don't fuck with him. Okay. That, I'm not telling y'all who but to you cancel. Said, but no, but you said I'm the guy cancel. that goes to bat for, like, protecting women and all that. Like, I just don't see where he was in a position where he didn't protect a woman. Got it. The woman will explain it to you, not me. Oh, uh, what <laughs> else we got? He just said he, they well, planned not, that. Not, what are you talking about? Got it. It's not. Listen, the woman will talk yeah. to you. It's not my place. You feel how you feel about Justin. I, feel I do need a little bit more education on the Janet with. thing, too, though. That's I, I all do. I'm saying. Like, I'm, I don't I'm see okay where he was wrong that. in that. Like, Honestly, maybe he didn't no, come out and say, this. yeah, we planned this together and whatever, whatever. But it's like, okay, I'm sure when that happened, when they planned that. He didn't say anything in support of it. I'm sure when they planned that. He didn't say one word. They both knew, like, this could backfire. Oh, shut up. No, you shut up. Nigga, you don't think that they had to talk about that? They wouldn't both know that this could backfire? You don't think Janet knew that? No. Oh, shit. Now, now you shut up if no. you think Janet didn't know that. I, I don't think that. Okay. I know. You think Janet had an inclination that what ended up happening would happen when she planned that if her it? Titty, that's what you're saying? If her nipple was exposed on the biggest event on television that it could backfire, I think Janet Jackson absolutely knew that. Got it. And I think she didn't give a fuck. Got that's it. what I think. Let the woman talk to you. <laughs> what else? Let him talk to you. I know what, what I'm what talking else? about. What else we got? You want to do TV? Let's go to TV. Let's do some TV. Well, quickly, let's start with you guys. Did watch the Hotel Cecil? I did. I did because we were talking about mental health. Mm-hmm. Yo, man, what was my guy's name? Uh, In hotel, the Cecil Hotel. Your guy? Nah, the guy, they guy? Tried to, the, the heavy metal guy that they pinned it on ruined his whole oh, life. I forgot oh, his name. Yeah. I forgot Matt, his name. Uh, damn, menace or something like that. Fuck, <laughs> something like that. He has yeah. some fire though. Morbid. Morbid. Morbid, said, morbid had some yeah, joints. But the video he, said, he put is, out, nah. like trying to say it wasn't me, it was like, fam, come on. He said, this is morbid. This is a spoiler I didn't alert. Do it. I didn't, yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's like, fam. This is a spoiler alert. Come on, come on. Like, cut it out. We're telling you the movie now. The doc. No, we're not. No, nah, not really. Oh. Okay. No, we're not. But it was good, though. If you didn't see this doc, it's a hotel oh, Cecil. Yeah. We can't talk much about it if we don't spoil anything. Morbid dude was foul. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Did you see it? Okay. Yeah, I don't think you've seen it. I saw it. So how was he foul? 
He didn't do nothing but stay at the hotel <laughs> a year before. Yeah, he and was, they he killed him and ruined happened. his career and made him attempt suicide because he was so depressed. He was nowhere around when that shit happened. So y'all bought his explanation. There's paperwork his showing His explanation. Yeah. His it was no explanation. Fact. Passport is stamped. Like Andy he didn't had, explain himself. And he, right. a, and he was in Mexico at a recording studio the night that that shit happened. Right. Oh no, I don't think he did it. Oh, you I think. Just said he, he I think, Yeah, he is foul. I thought he was trying to get a little Takashi shine out the situation. Nah. Oh well, fam. I didn't like. His, I didn't you like shot his video. You shot a video, video where yeah. she died. But he does you settle. You he made it before. No, 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 no. They found it. That was yeah, they didn't even know about the well, case. Well, he made a new song after she died. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I killed no, you. No, he didn't. Oh, no, he did that was his catalog. See, now you put out. Yeah, he makes that was his catalog. That was his catalog. You're being Takashi. Yeah, he had four albums like that. Now you're lying and making up narratives. All right, so y'all felt him when he when he was like, and now we're really spoiling shit. Y'all felt him when he was like, morbid is my inner thoughts slit acting out. Yes, I yeah. can be and do anything. Yes. Yeah, I think I think rappers do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's called. God. And he was doing that before this happened, so Facts. that's why. I really and all the like, records they said uh, were confessions him. were before he even knew what the case was. Get, right. get him off the streets. No, <laughs> shout out to more. He didn't do shit. <laughs> get him out he of did here. Nothing. Clean up the neighborhood. <laughs> Yo, I didn't like. I didn't even like when he was doing his makeup on camera. I was with him. Yeah, get him. Yeah, nah, that's fucked up. Hey, the that's YouTube, the YouTube up. people gonna find somebody that they need to arrest. <laughs> Yeah, this was good. He was an innocent man. Nah, but that listen, man. I know he he was talking about the hotel Cecil being the portal to hell, and that's the weird shit. But he was also talking about the internet, and I thought he got on some double entendre shit. Mm. The internet is the portal to fucking hell. Like all these fucking YouTube investigators who think they're police and just start trying to ruin people's lives. Like rest in peace when Pop Smoke died. And they went after his friend, all in his comments and said, his friend did it. He's the killer. Yeah, like, right, can y'all crazy. shut the fuck up for a second? Yeah, that yeah, was crazy. Man. Stop doing this to people. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it is. And then when the facts come out, y'all don't say a word. Right. No, quiet. <laughs> Anytime the internet accuses somebody of something and then the facts come out, that person never gets a, gets an apology. No. Word. They just move on to the next person that they want to victimize. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's fucking nuts. It is. Yeah, this this documentary was good, though. It was good. And it I, definitely like could have been two episodes, but it's I funny. like how they tied it into the Night Stalker. Yeah. Like he he used to stay there. Yeah. Let's see how they tied it. They dragged this shit, man. They dragged it. They dragged yeah. it. Fan, I, I'll say from. They did drag it. They dragged it. This will be a. Uh, I guess. Don't spoil it. Please don't. don't. Spoil Please it. don't. Yeah. Please don't. Kill us for Please that. Okay. I won't say what it was, but when I watched the trailer and they said what it was in the trailer, I didn't need to see the rest of it. Well, I didn't need I've to see it. T- I've been around two people that have that, and I could identify that right away as someone that's not a clinical doctor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it from the the footage. You know the, the whole time, like, and you know I'm a conspiracy theorist, and I believe in ghosts. I was I was with all the theories they were coming up with, but in the back of my head, I said, "Yeah, I, I know what the real yeah. deal is right now." I've been around two people that do this. Yeah. <laughs> this great, doc, great doc though. Just it was, a, it was a good doc. It was entertaining. Doc. Now this doc, Lady in the Dale, uh, Lady that's, in the that's Dale, the one. Joe was you were that's, talking about that's this the one. one. That's the yeah, one. I gotta watch. this. None of these other docs are even important, but you don't know that until you watch this. Mm-hmm. Like, and I watched this just because I watched all the other ones already. Like, I was like, you know what? It's HBO. It's a car. <laughs> <laughs> where, where can I, I like go cars? <laughs> so Lady in the Dale is on HBO Max. And the de- this, is about, this is about a man who wanted to revolutionize the automobile industry with a three-wheel car in the 70s. Mm-hmm. Late 60s, 70s, somewhere around there. And the thinking was that the lighter the car, the less gas the car needed, more affordable. Mm-hmm. Uh, the thinking back then was this is when, uh, I guess, Neil Armstrong had just went to the moon recently. <laughs> um, and automobile, or, uh, the automobile industry, along with other people, were trying to figure out how that tech could be implemented into regular shit. Mm-hmm. That's the explanation they gave. Got you. So I thought I was watching a doc. I watch American Greed, so I'm with white people coming up with scams. I thought I was watching a white dude come up with a scam about cars. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Couldn't be more wrong. (laughs) I don't even know what this is about. Like, every time I thought that it was about one thing, it switched to something else. So they built a three-wheel car. They never built one for it to go. They just built a model, put it in all the car shows, sold mad of them, and then they had to make one. Right. And then when they got to make it, well, they realized, nigga, we can't make this shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, but shorty, oh, wait, because the dude that came up with the idea, he had a sex change. Okay. He didn't want to be a man anymore. So now he was a woman, 
And he was running a scam, but apparently he had another scam before this car shit that he disappeared from. They couldn't figure out where he was. He, so they busted him. Yeah, because he changed his shit. Right. So they busted him, and then they had him, and then it was a trial. And then the juror that was going to lean toward him, I'm telling the whole shit. Let me not do that. Anyway, long story less long, this, this lady had a bunch of scams. Mm-hmm. And after the car shit, she had about five more for their head tops. <laughs> and they had to go and try to find her throughout the, throughout the country. And this is four episodes of this. Really three, because the first episode don't even count. The first episode is them just telling you about her family. Yeah, she you up. And you set up. And you're like, you're like, <laughs> the fuck yeah, I don't care. Yeah. As a matter of fact, Man. how come my car is four wheels? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, by the time they got to episode two, this shit was lit, lit, lit. So I'm going to watch that. I love yeah. the scam story. Oh, yeah. This after, was after great. The, the McMillions doc. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. and matter of fact, speaking of scammers, uh, Scream Man, can you pull up Shorty's name? That just got out of jail. She was the Soho scammer. The Soho scammer. Oh, the, Claire, no, no, no. the Claremont twins. <laughs> <laughs> how niggas let them two keep scamming? I still don't know. No, I'm about to say, they still go. I don't know how. <laughs> I saw a pic the other day and they was cute. I was like, oh. Oh, no, the, the Soho <laughs> grifter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the Soho grifter, or however you pronounce Soho. that shit. Yeah, grifter. So Shorty. Oh, he was grifting, bitches. <laughs> no, it's a girl. It's a white woman. Oh, she was She scammed bitches. the shit out of everyone in Soho. She was running with all the. One percent people. She was staying in every luxury oh, hotel, not paying name. a fucking bill, nothing, whatever. Right? Yeah. Shorty got out of jail like last week, right? And went right back to Soho <laughs> and walked into the Sephora store and stayed there for three hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> White privilege. Yeah. So that's what that sounds like. And then sold her her script to Netflix. Wow. White privilege. There you go. My black ass would have did that shit and walked to Sephora. It'd have been so much police out there. White privilege. <laughs> All right, before we get to everyone's thoughts on the Your Honor uh, finale, and we're gonna spoil it, go watch it. I'm, I'm gonna not, this, this yeah, one. I'm not to. not gonna talk about. Yeah. I'm, it just happened. Okay, watch it. Right, that's it. Your Honor. Your Honor. Your Honor. Your Honor. Your Honor. I loved it. I loved it. They, they tried to sneak some co- some COVID no, shit in. Really? Love I loved it. No, I didn't love it. I didn't love it. I loved it. I didn't love it. And I I be looking at kill endings. I didn't love yeah. it, but I didn't hate it. Okay. Oh, that's over. Yeah, yeah. but I don't. But I don't was supposed to. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't love it though. No. I, nah. I didn't love it. I I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. Uh, it left a lot. It left a lot of storylines un, unanswered. I guess. Is that why you didn't? Um, what what storylines were were unanswered? Uh, what happens to the whole uh, black mob and the kid that now shot yeah, the people? It, it, and, exactly. It was just it, uh, that, sim- similar to the night of. Back to the cycle. Right. His brother was in it. His brother got fucked by it. Yeah. He tried to get revenge for it. Is going to get fucked for it again. Yeah, he was right. trying to shoot at the person that killed... Um, again, spoilers. Yeah. That, that actually killed his brother. Ended up killing the person that was fucking them over in the long run. So there was some type of vengeance of people to get fucked by the system. I hate to get in the metaphor bag, but I, I think that is what Adam was, is the metaphor of the person that always gets off on everything. Yeah. And yeah, no, we're shooting him in the neck this time. I think there was some type of resolution the way the night of where there wasn't. But Adam where the wasn't system trying just went. to get away with the shit. He was trying to turn. Adam is in. a fucking sociopath. He is a sociopath. Adam is the sickest character not, on that TV show. Absolutely, and it's not even close. Absolutely, I'm not arguing that part. He's As fuck. <laughs> yeah, but I. I and I don't know that Adam wasn't trying to kill that kid when he put his fingers in, the, in his mouth. Just saying, he became a sociopath the entire show. Well, yeah, I always thought that was a little weird to me. And then y'all was like, well, he was clearing his passageway, trying to get him. Yeah, but still, that's just call the call, call ambulance, call the cops. Yeah. No, at least night of, the shit went in circles. This is the system. This is how it's going to be. At least the metaphor of the system fucking somebody got shot in the neck and died. Some some resolution. I hated the night of ending. Yeah, the, this, 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 this yawn ending to me was, this, I thought it would have been a little. This it might be season two. I don't think there is. I disagree with Corey. No, I, think, I, I think I'd like to see season two. I want to see season two. Like this, I, I, like this. I would with definitely this ending, watch. I loved it, no, I, I I loved loved it too. I if it, it don't come back, I loved it. I didn't love it. I didn't love it. But well, I, don't I didn't hate it, it, but I didn't love it. They left it open for them to come back and it be on. True. I think it's coming oh, it back. Definitely, the story can definitely keep going. I think it's sure, coming but back. But I'm I'm cool. I'm I don't think out. I don't think they look at those ratings. I'm clocked out and be like, yeah, end it now. And and nah. how they, time. how no they way. closed it up where the judge was gonna be fine. Like they they cleaned up all that shit at the end. Like, mm-hmm. yo, I just need him to be good. I just need him to be good. Mm-hmm. 
the judge c- could continue to be a judge. He just has to explain why he's there, but he already, his wife was murdered, now his son was murdered. He's going to be the fucking mayor of the city too. I thought that ending was really beautiful. Like, for the judge to be over his kid, the way his kid was over the kid. Yeah. I just thought it was poetic. It was beautiful. It was poetic, for sure. I loved it. Yeah, it was I loved cool. it. It was I a little bit on the it, nose, but... It. Yeah, I didn't love it. it, but I didn't hate it. I see with the full, like, it's way a, too full circle. I, it was a I little get too it, on the nose. But, but I, li- so I like that, that Shorty never found out that her boyfriend killed her brother and was still... Yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. You thought, uh, what's, what's the mafia guy's... The boss uh, Baxter. Was, you thought he was smiling? Oh, the end? Yeah, when he was holding his daughter? Yeah, he was smiling. Okay. I had that debate. No, he was smiling for sure. Hell yeah, he was smiling. Or it was, that's just one of the faces he always had throughout the season. <laughs> True. It was like, you know, he about to do some crazy shit. It's like, it's like a sinister laugh or a sinister yeah. smile. I shouldn't be smiling, but I am. It yeah. was that kind of vibe. The, this kid, the, 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 the bad brother got caught up too easy on the stand for me. If there was one thing that... I felt could have been different. The family was too gangster for the kid to get caught up that easy. Yeah, but he was a knucklehead. No, but he was an asshole. Yeah. He, he was trying to get caught up anyway. He was and and, and, and he that. was the, the privileged had, under yeah. you know, you kid had, of the You had the your attorney on boss. your side. You had your the judge on your You had mad shit on your side. And, that's and you were still stupid enough to get the, up there and say he yes. walked out, didn't he? Yes. Well, it was the cocky, arrogant, like, I'm good. In my head, I was like... Yeah, no, that's, do I have to go back to that episode? I don't think it went like that. No, <laughs> but that's why I'm saying it was. He was white. His father was who he was. He, they got the judge in pocket already. Yeah. That's why he was on the stand, you know, calling the other lawyer a cunt and all that, because yeah. he knew, like, I'm good, fam. Well, I, the, the judge is on my side. The right. inconsistency was, was that the, lo- the lawyer would have allowed that because them revealing the end of that video, his lawyer would have had. His lawyer wouldn't have let him say that. That was yeah. the only inconsistency inconsistency in this show that I was like, all right, that's too obvious because his lawyer would have had that video footage. You revealing that to the jury and everyone else, you have to give that over to the defense. Uh, also, <laughs> let me just give power a little bit of credit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of credit. Please don't. You mean to tell me that that little kid, the little fat black kid, watched the judge jog to his door, watched the house get blown up, watched mad people die, grabbed a gun, snuck in the private party, and just was way off on the target. <laughs> <laughs> this kid is in desire, right? That's a gang. <laughs> he was with the tough accountant lady. Yeah, he was the he accountant. Was he, was, he, was he was the accountant. He was he trying was to get the shooter. Yeah, he wasn't a shooter. And those little guns are very inaccurate. Yeah, he wasn't, And who he chose wasn't that really. gang name? Sound like a male stripper. <laughs> Sound like You're a never stripper. going to New Orleans again, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's fictional parks. I just thought that he should have hit the person. He did. No, he didn't. No, he hit the right person. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You like him. Nah, but he, he didn't. He didn't. Yeah. No, no, and no. The no, little no. derringers are not accurate. He, he didn't hit the right person. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. He hit the that, person that eventually got his brother killed. No, no. I don't see. I don't. I don't view it like that because at, the, the, he didn't mean to kill his his. And not for nothing, the hey, Baxter the ball, kid ball killed lie. his brother. Exactly. So he's supposed to kill him. He's supposed to. That's who, that's who should have got And shot. I'm saying yeah. the ball doesn't lie. He could have been aiming for the Baxter kid, but hit the kid that really did it. He, he's just the victim of this. Nah, nah. I'm not rolling. <laughs> Corey, enough of you. We can't hear I'm, you I'm not on the mic. <laughs> that's annoying to people. Um, Corey, Corey was saying that the Baxter kid was a victim of it too. And I, I agree with him. Nah. I thought it was great. Sorry if we spoiled it for you. <laughs> I think Put a mark before it. the spoiler alert so they know everybody didn't see it. Put a uh, mark on it so they could fast forward if they didn't see it. Everybody happy. Yeah. Oh, that and the Chet Hanks thing was the other wild inconsistency with that. Son's whole bone was coming out of his leg. He's like, no, <laughs> keep him, on, him the on the stand. stand. That yeah. would never happen. Yeah. Dude didn't even sound believable when he was like, I was afraid. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. We got it, buddy. The lawyer knew that, though. Yeah. No she worries. Um, I don't. He think... sounded mad that he had to say that. Like, I'm not pussy. Right, <laughs> right. Fam, you're fighting for your life right now. Yeah. Let me see if I have anything else here. The Jamaica kidnap story. Oh, we should highlight uh what's going on in Trinidad right now. What's going uh, on in Trinidad? If Let you me... heard about the Jamaica kidnap story, uh, it wasn't a kidnap story. Oh. There we go. Uh, That's why I, I try to not get too riled up when you read things on the internet. She made that shit sound like. They let my friends leave. They told me I had COVID. They wouldn't show me a positive test. They kept me no phone, no food. It was bad. 
to just find out that she didn't have COVID and she didn't want to quarantine. <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw that one, the flight attendant thing. I mean, she did have COVID and she didn't want to quarantine and have, have her friends leave and be stuck in Jamaica by herself. That was yeah. nuts. Don't do that again. These fucking kids on the internet. Uh, sure. But in serious news, and uh, let me read this off an actual real source, um, Trinidad is facing a gender-based violence crisis right now. Uh, 416 women and girls went missing in Trinidad during 2020. 535 went missing in 2019. 45 women were murdered in 2020. There are 552 reported cases of sexual assault against women in 2019. Uh, one in three women and girls in unions reported that they have suffered abuse. 20, 29% of those have said they experienced both physical and sexual assault in Trinidad right now. It's it's becoming kind of a thing. So That's nuts. That's yeah. nuts, nuts. Just wanted to... And I'm certain there's no coverage on it. Not much sure at all. Not, so yeah. I just want to make sure we, we cover that. Because um, it. it's definitely something bad happening right now in Trinidad. Yeah, thanks for the info. Thank you, Rory. Way to be responsible with your platform. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys got anything else? I don't think so, no. No, I got, got two two docs I have to watch tonight. Or L- Lady in the Dale. Man, y'all going to be impressed by uh, Shorty. Because <laughs> <laughs> at the end, right, when I thought this shit was over, it was over already. Mm. She ran away from the jury. <laughs> she, she did everything she had to do. They get this Daily News guy or some reporter on there. This is just, a spoiler. This is a spoiler, by the way. This is, uh, I'm not going to spoil it. How? I mean, you spoiled the entire thing. Yeah, I'm still fair. watching it, though. So they got like, like, right, this is a spoiler. Yeah. We'll fast forward this to the hey, you, what? This is a spoiler. Get out of here. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Go. Get your Go. ass out of here. Go on now. <laughs> they put a Daily News or some news reporter guy there, and they like, his, his first day on the job. They're not giving him no stories. So he's like, fuck it, I'm going to go find the story. So he goes to the local highway where they're selling roses. And they're all selling roses. So he's like, well, fuck it, I'm going to get a story on the niggas selling some roses down here. They're mm-hmm. making some money. they pouring their heart out down here with the roses. Mm-hmm. So she put it down there, and uh, the reporter was like, yo, <laughs> it's mad rose sellers down here. None of them speak English, and none of them would talk to the reporter. Mm-hmm. So the reporter did some digging. <laughs> That's what reporters do. Good reporters. Who owns the rose business yeah. of the people that don't speak English <laughs> right. making a killing right. for the last 10 years? There's somebody behind this shit for sure. Yeah, absolutely. This nigga sold roses. Mm-hmm. Shorty right. is good, man. Spoiler alert. Watch oh. it. It's a great. I now, just read quick. that they're not bringing back uh, Messiah. Good. Nah, that show was good on on Netflix. Messiah, that show was good. I, I tried to watch Rican the first God? two episodes. Oh, I fell asleep during Messiah. Yeah, I, I tried. I Wait, couldn't get it. Messiah, Man, I tried. I <laughs> Wait, Messiah, y'all with, tripping. Messiah, Messiah Puerto y'all Rican Jesus. I tried. <laughs> Y'all Wasn't tripping. Messiah with Puerto Rican God? No. Where he went to school and his uh, classmates see, uh, didn't know he was God? Well, by the way, this he is why y'all Puerto celebrate Man, Valentine's Day. Because you want the white Jesus. You want Mel Gibson's version, don't yeah, you? Yeah, that's what Joe wants. That's what they want. That makes him more comfortable. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm mad they're not bringing this back because they said that it, uh, the, the Muslim community was offended by like some of the depictions I, and stuff like that. And it's, I, didn't, I, didn't, I never viewed this... This series to be like that, so I just was like, I already of, could see why they would be offended. <laughs> it mom. looks, it looks like look a bunch this, of look at this, angry <laughs> Taliban and then a bunch of angelic white people. Nah, this, was, this was good though. This series was good. Turning this was the capital. <laughs> like, oh, Jesus came to us, you nah, crazy this, this terrorists. Look at, this, look at dude. <laughs> yeah, he's throwing bombs on Iraq. Look at that. Look, Maul thought this show was coming back. <laughs> it should. This was a good series. Y'all bugging. This was a good series. No, I tried nah. to watch the first two episodes. Nah, y'all bugging. Messiah. This, Messiah was good. Y'all tripping. This was a good series. Maybe I'll try it again. This was definitely a good series. <laughs> Yo, since we were on on <laughs> documentaries about scams. Netflix and- bad shows is good. Like, I like their bad shows. <laughs> yeah. Nah, this is a good like, show. Like, Netflix had me watching some shit. I thought Rory's playing pussy with me. Move, basically. Netflix had me watching some shit. What's the show with a retired boxer? <laughs> teaching his kids to box. Oh, I didn't see that. Get this shit the fuck out of here. Season four of The Wire. No man, <laughs> the, the fans are letting the, the Italian guy beefing with the gangsters. His kids was boxers. Who knows? I don't remember. Did Michael B. Jordan Rocky. I, I don't remember. I don't remember. It's fine. Uh, I'm I was done. trying to say with, with with the scammer docs and the mob and all that shit we were talking about McMillions. Uh. I was in C Town and I saw a Hamburger Helper and I was like, man, I haven't had Hamburger Helper in a while. And I grabbed the box. You know, box tops are still a thing. Right. That, yeah. skip, that, that right. racket is still going. Right, I'm not missing my flight for this. I mean, is there, is there, is there anything else besides hamburger helper toppings the, that no, we need to get to? It's the box top. That's a scam. I remember the that's box a top. racket. It's still yeah. on the boxes. I can't believe that. 
What the fuck is that? It used to be Box like collect the cardboard education. pieces. Yeah, 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 you bring them into your class and that's donates to somebody. The yeah. school pays money. It's a, a scam for sure. None of y'all want to know what Roar used to bring to the bake sale? I think we asked him that before, didn't we? Rice Krispie Treats, for sure. Yeah, I we like did Rice Krispie Treats. Treats. Well, you're right. I think we did. Oh, they changed Aunt Mama's name. Yeah. To like, What's her name now? The real racist shit. <laughs> Burying niggers under <laughs> croplands. It's the like. name of, it's the, I think it's the name of the, of the mill where they make nah, their syrup. Actually. Nah, it's some nigger. Oh, oh, oh that it's, mill? It's some racist <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, Pearl, saw mill. That Burying Pearl, niggers Pearl, by Sawmill Road. Yeah, Pearl Mill and Company. <laughs> Look, what is, Pearl Mill and Company. Yeah. That's what they slapped Aunt Your Mama on. No wonder Ari Lennox hates me. Look what, they, look what they're doing to fucking aunts. <laughs> yeah. It does feel a little it's racist. It's time for that to go. They, they put on <sighs> Aunt Your Mama under... The Sawmill Creek you know Road. Also, sir, this is crazy, man. Nah, right, crazy right, shit. Crazy. Somebody, Pearl was, milling. somebody was breaking down the crack a barrel uh, thing to me this weekend. That was crazy. Oh, yeah, I've heard that one's kind of. See the logo? Like if I you have, look, yeah. it's right there in front me, of your face. Put it up. The logo is a whip. All right. <laughs> Let me see. I, I don't and, eat cracker. And barrel. it says cracker. Yeah, look, I don't eat cracker you barrel. See the R on the on the on the barrel, like how it goes all the way around to the top of the cake. That's a whip. <laughs> <laughs> And they and, and, and they used to the, the barrel is where they used to Ma, put the, the bullets in it. it's not going to the yes it oh, is shit, that's straight off the K. Yeah. <laughs> damn, oh that's, shit. Then that's the K doing that to us. The old country. And store. the barrel is where they used to put the the, the whips in. They used to they used to uh, store the whips inside the barrel. And you still and eating whips grits crack. from there. You still getting your grits from there. I'm done with you. No, but that's what niggas said though. Niggas say, y'all, I'm still gonna eat there, but just with a little attitude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play a song, man. Get get off. Can no, I play a song? Can I go? I'm just saying, Cracker Barrel. Yeah, he playing He's like, swearing his face around. Can I go? Good. That's <laughs> right. Look, look. All right, what's y'all plans this week? It was 50 degrees today. It's going to be a blizzard in two days. <laughs> it's bipolar weather. Yeah, I'm going to be inside. Global warming is real. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in the house. I ain't doing shit, man. I ain't got nothing yeah. planned. Yeah, no, nice. games. I see Julius. I see my boy Julius cooking. Hold yeah, on, they're shot. cooking. He's been working. Yeah, yeah, but you know, y'all niggas laughed me out the room a little bit last year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We should get him on the pod. Social distancing. Can't it's too tall. It. Oh, yeah. I forgot he'll get in trouble yeah. for all that. Can't do it. Can't do it. Understandable. All right. Well, get us tickets. Yeah, soon. The garden's, <laughs> garden's open <laughs> yeah. February no, 23rd. Yeah. How many people are they letting in? Uh, 2,000. Okay. Yeah, 2, it's not too bad, people. though. Yeah. Yeah. How not, many do you think bad. the players get out of that? Probably still just... Because uh, I think the players now, I think their families are still at the game. Just in the, the skyboxes, I think. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I think it's gotcha. that type of thing. Gotcha. So, Nah, Nick's, like Nick's doing alright, man. Number six, they look Same, good, man. They look good. They look that D Rose pickup was big. Yeah, like yeah. a lot of people kind of just like didn't really pay that. I didn't see that get the headline it d- deserved, but mm-hmm. that was big only because D Rose is D Rose. He ain't got. He's, he's proven. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's he, he's a veteran. He plays hard. He wants to win. He doesn't have you know these attitude problems that a lot of these superstars have. Mm-hmm. Puts his ego to the side. He just wants to play basketball. Yeah, and he obviously still plays at a very high level. Yeah, so shout out to the Knicks, shout out to Julius, man. No, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's good to see New York basketball be a thing again. It, it needs to be. Yeah, I mean the Nets obviously are the Nets, the Nets but it's yeah. like the Knicks need to be in the playoff scene for sure. Absolutely, it's only been my entire lifetime. Right. <laughs> <laughs> never, never got to the glory. Uh, <laughs> Some spree well, seen spree well years that were cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, it's over. When you were couldn't six. E- couldn't even get there with Mellow, man. Nah, it's over. It's over. All right, life is a series of bullshit. Um, so, yeah, mind what matters the girls to you. give you a headache. Yeah, whatever take the fuck migraine. that is. Yeah. Take migraine. A, oh, no, take an Excedrin. Excuse yeah. me. They give you a migraine. Get the, get the caffeine in there, yeah. I feel you. Mind what matters to you, and uh, I still think Music Soul Child cleaning the rest of y'all up. I don't know what song you played to begin with. I think it was a sleeper. 